Hello, welcome back to the Football Terrace, the final live debate show of the international break. And it's one that this comes up every international break. Who are the 11 players that fit into the greatest Premier League side of all time? We've been running polls all week on my personal account. We've got the shortlist down. We're going to go through that with you today. These are the players that you can put into the positions. There's goalkeepers, of course, centre-backs, full-backs, central midfielders, wingers and forwards. Of course, there's a, we're going to do 4-3-3. is going to be the formation, which is very, very simple. But at the end of each section, which is each position, you get the chance to super chat in and you get to bid and control what happens. We'll have a timer set. You have a certain amount of time period to put the biggest bid in for the player that you want to put into that position. But without further ado... Without further ado, let me introduce you to my brilliant panel tonight. On my right, back by popular demand, man like Izzy and Patrick in the house. How are you doing, boys? I'm good, bro. Can't yeah. complain. I'm brilliant, man. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. How's the arm? Long, man. Long. Very long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If I told you like, how long it took me to get dressed to get here, you'll, yeah. It's, it's, it's peak. It's peak, but yeah. We're, we're still out here. And you're the first it. here as well, to be fair. So I've got to give you credit for that. I've got to give you credit. And to my left, man, like, have hope. Gunner King in the house. How you doing, boys? Yeah, man. What up, what up, what up? We're good, what up, man. What up? We're good. Excited. Excited, man. Some great players here. There, there, are some, there are some very, very good players here. And we're going to jump in without any further ado and start with the goalkeepers. So the four options in goal are Peter Schmeichel, Edwin van der Sar, David De Gea, and Petr Cech. Now, that was voted for... But, De Gea uh, uh, got the shortlist? Yeah, De Gea's on the shortlist. <laughs> it's not, they got voted in. It's not on me. Hey, it's not on think me. Of his whole, think of his whole just, United respect career. Respect De Gea, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Think of his, his whole like, United career. To be fair, even this season, he's been good. If you actually deep it. No, no, but, but as a look for this is like all time. Like, I quality know. bullets. Yeah, no, I hear you. This... I think that his he deserves to be in the convo, but he's not for my he's time? not my pick. He's not my pick. Yeah, who would you put yeah, instead I'll, of I'll put him in the convo, man? No, no, I'm mean, not for me. I think it's fine with what's it called? Um, Czech, Schmeichel, Van der Sar, Seaman. Is like wait, wait, is Seaman on the shortlist? No, see, <laughs> see he come Seaman actually, I think came fourth in his semi final. Oh, yeah, wow. so he yeah, he didn't even didn't, make, didn't, didn't even make final, yeah, nowhere near it. Bottom yeah. of the pile. Introduced nowadays, eh? Yeah, but I can, I can hear the hair. He's, yeah, like I said, he's not my. I think consistency and coupled with like individual performances as well, in, in terms of and in the unit, I do kind of think checks mm. leading towards Peter Check. I think, but then it's Michael. I, to be honest, out of Schmeichel, Van der Sar, Check, I'm kind of it's, no. For, for me, I think it's it's tough between Schmeichel and Check. I think Van der Sar was good, but I think Van der Sar was at his best at Ajax. He was still good, but by the time he came to United, he was sort of off he was the like best. Mid 30s, then, right? Yeah, so basically, yeah, yeah. both Schmeichel and Czech were at their best yeah. in the Premier League. So that's a good point. That's why it's it's a tough one, man. The, the thing, the thing that people forget as well, like Opta stats and everything like that, you used to like look at goalkeeper or look at players in general. Like a lot of the stats that came in were like from 2006 onwards. I had someone the other day be like. Henri's created zero big chances and got 74 career assists. And I was like, well, yeah, before 2006, they weren't recording like a lot of things. So people don't realise how good Schmeichel was, you know. Like, they really don't. Yeah. He I, was... I, I, I think with the Schmeichel, I think with all the goalies that are on this list, none of them kind of fit the bill for the modern-day goalkeeper, playing out from the back, being no. good on the ball. But here, things change. Th things change over time. And I understand that, that Alisson and Edison and most goalies now are good with their feet. Most, like You very rarely see a goalie come through at the highest level now that isn't decent to very good in terms of distribution. But, I, but you can't take that away from goalies that played in an era where that just wasn't... It wasn't awesome. It wasn't awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Van der Sar was good with his feet. Yeah, yeah, because they like the total good, football good, thing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. But, but it wasn't really pressurized like, on them, yeah. you know. Oh, like it wasn't no, no, really no, no, needed. No, no. They it could get away with just yeah. like, just lumping. And it. I, I think yeah. obviously, you know, how I'm trying to figure out the this is how I'm figuring out the whole check Michael thing. Check at his best, so we're looking at 04, 05, He was considered the best keeper in the, in the world. Yeah. So that's what is in Czech's favor. But it, we have to look at the whole career balance. We have to look at check for Chelsea, check for Arsenal as well. And also, check. Oh, let's, let's forget Arsenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Czech sure you were saying that. Head, head, head 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 check about that. wasn't that pre head get check amazing. Head get check, mm, if he was Schmeichel, though, is the longevity and how important it was to 
the best side in the country for such a long period of time. So it's longevity and at their best. Czech's had a long career, though. I think Czech was at his peak for a while. Because he, he, he was 22 in, in the 04 05 season. Yeah, he le- when did he leave Chelsea to go to Arsenal? He was like, what, mid 30s? Mid-30s, yeah, mid-30s, mid-30s. So he was there yeah. for like a good decade. I, I, you've got to remember, Schmeichel had time at like Villa and City. Oh, yeah. left, where he wasn't anywhere near his, his peak at Man United. So <laughs> I am really looking like, at like, like, yeah, yeah. The thing so, that so, I, I've that stood out for me about Schmeichel watching him when he was a kid two things, like the command of his area. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen a goalkeeper command an area like Schmeichel, ever. Mm. And the starfish thing, like that's influenced the game massively yeah, by yeah, how yeah, keepers yeah. make saves yeah. today. Make He's actually mistake. influenced the game and changed it with the way that he like... Bagged a few goals yeah, as well. Like, you know, like coming out... Well, rushing, go- goalkeepers rushing keepers, going, going, up for cor- going up for corners, the yeah. star yeah, stuff, yeah. one-on-one ability. And look, people talk about distribution. That yeah, man with yeah. these throws. Yeah, it's yeah. That man could throw the ball like three quarters of the length of the pitch. And mm. I, I think, yeah, again, just, he, he was never going to be as good on the ball as the modern day goalkeepers, but they weren't trained for it. Like Schmeichel for me, and I know people look at me as being biased, but he is just, for me, he's been overall when you look at everything. It's yeah. important. I think when you think of I've the Premier League era, I think, yeah. he's the goalkeeper you think of. Yeah, he yeah. kind of epitomizes that era. Same. Obviously, for United's dominance as well, but for that eight, nine year stretch where he was in goal, that was just unlock. Like United, yeah, no, no, he, won, I, he won United. The thing is, like the, the whole commanding of the area thing, like you could see him making the defenders around him better. Yeah, yeah. Like by just organizing them. Like I've this, it was different. Like, no, no, no. I mean that's why I think it's an it's an age thing. If you have a certain age, guys, I'm sure guys will be like, what the hell is this Schmeichel guys? Check is the dude. You had to grow up watching Schmeichel. You had to, and it's like he was intimidating for guys because it's like, man, how do I get past this guy? And also. Let's talk moments. Because for me, this whole thing is also about like your longevity, your legacy, also moments. That treble season, that save against Dennis Bergkamp yeah. in that epic yeah. cup, that was, it was huge. Because I thought he, he would score, like Bergkamp scores, that's penalty. Who knows what would have happened? You, you so also, it's like, yeah, you also go game. back to the, the season where we caught we caught Newcastle after their big 10, 11 point lead. <laughs> we played Newcastle and they battered us. And he was a man of the match that night and he pulled off three or four iconic Max, saves yeah. in that game. And I think that there are more famous games and famous moments from Schmeichel than maybe there are Petr Cech. And, that mm. isn't, and I think Petr Cech's an amazing goalkeeper. Yeah. But I think when you look at like greatest, it's how good you were, iconic moments or clutch moments as, as strikers have them called. Yeah. Yeah. Legacy within the Legacy. game, and then the inf- and then the influence of you as, a, as, as an in, yeah, as an individual. And not, yeah. not to take anything away from Czech, but I think when you think of that first Mourinho stint and that Chelsea era, it's more the whole defensive unit. Obviously, they had Carvalho, Terry, mm. um, Paulo Ferreira, and that as well. Cole. You think of the whole, yeah, Cole as well. You yeah. think of the whole unit. When I think of that United times and their defense, I think it's Schmeichel is a stat. Yeah, Schmeichel is in them like the mad and the yeah. mad kits yeah. as well. I think yeah, yeah, Schmeichel is like yeah, yeah. a guy who's like. Single handed, no, no, yeah, 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 absolutely. So, look, we, what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, this is the first time we've done it this way around. So, that's the, the list. Schmeichel is in. We're gonna start the countdown clock now. So, that, okay, so the way that's gonna start in just a few <laughs> moments' time, the countdown clock of five minutes. So, if you want to super chat in and change our minds, if you want to change that, you'll have a five minute time period to do it. If towards the end of that five minutes, or in the last minute, somebody outbid the top bidder we will restart the countdown at one minute for you so as soon as that countdown clock starts we're going to have to get that going that is when the five minute timer starts um on that as an example are we is that ready to start yeah start the countdown on there and then get it into that we need it onto the screen do it that way around yeah so start the contact count as the five minutes has started from now get that going and we'll get it up on the screen for you in just a few moments time that's what's important for us to do um to break this out and of course i wanted to ask you boys while that's going on mm. who of the modern day goalkeepers do you think is en route to going into this conversation because they were on the, the short list but they weren't quite so ready so yet in, in 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 the premier league premier league yeah. i'd say allison first 100 percent. allison 100%. i think is the best keeper yeah. Right now, because he's got he's got the clutch he's got the clutch moments like a Schmeichel. Yeah, he's got the modern day goalkeeping like playing out ability as well. And I just he's part he's of a very a bit good... more level headed than Edison. Like Edison sometimes can yeah, he's, caught he's, like he's, at the halfway line. Yeah. yeah, he's a bit reckless. I, no, still, I, I, I still think, think though the rags to riches story of Mendy. Like, yeah, where I, 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 I didn't think five, about six, Mendy. Five, six, seven Mendy, years yeah. ago, he was he was not a professional footballer. Like. Robbed of the Ashen Award, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. I, Trust. This guy walked in 
um, when they won the world, uh, the world club cup. Yeah, flexing is like uh, <laughs> his Afcon, like Afcon <laughs> thing as well. Yeah, and like just oh no, 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 I'm, no I think like this guy, like man. Mendy, De Gea, yeah. Allison, those guys. Yeah, and Edison yeah. as well. And Edison, he's in no, the no, conversation. No, 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 no. He's in the conversation. No, he has no, to be. No, but no, what he's won and how he revolutionized Man City no, no, goalkeeper. Then like. give that sort of pep. Like Edison, he started off really well, but I think what you've now seen right now is that he he's a football merchant. What a, that's what all he is. Okay. So like, what about there's a comment here from Twisted Bubba who says, "What about Ramsdale? Could Ramsdale too early? It's too early. Yeah, yeah, he's too early. 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 We need, yeah, we need to just. Yeah, he needs yeah. two, soon, two, three. Don't get me wrong. He was, he's been brilliant this year, but too soon. People can have one good season and fall off. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah. let's see how it goes. Like, he's got like you got to see man a few more seasons. Yeah, see Where him in different that? competitions as well. See him in the Champions League. See him playing for England, and then we can really assess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of get that. Like, I don't think I think it's far too early. I've, I've said this to a few Arsenal fans as well. Like his first year has been good. I remember Arsenal fans talking about Bird Leno as being one of the top two, three goalies in the league yeah, after his first year yeah. as well. And that isn't to take away from Rams. I've been great, but just like... A lot let, of him, Arsenal, let him just grow I've, I've seen Arsenal yeah. fans say things like, should be England number one. Just let him don't put up. that pressure yeah, on him yet. Yeah, yeah. England number one is Same. one of the most pressured positions in world, in world football. The scrutiny on it is mad. Don't put him under that pressure yet. Let him develop. Let him find yeah. himself. He was he 22, 23? 23. 23. Yeah. He's, he's, got, he's got 15, he's got 15 let years his, left. Let his gloves do the talking, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's too, too early. I do like him, though. And I'll I, I hold my hand up. I was wrong. He's got, I he's, thought he was going to flop, but he's done very well this year for Arsenal. He's got things to work on. Like I, like, I do think it's overplayed. Like, rivals are like, oh, he makes saves for the camera. And, like, I do look back to, like, David De Gea. When he yeah, he loves, it. he loves a camera save. And it's, mm. not, no, it's not that so much that they love camera saves. It's like their main attributes are their like agility and their athleticism yeah, no. and their reflexes so that's what they rely on like but they didn't have the feet positioning to begin with like De Gea when he was younger like the difference between an Allison and a Ramsdale would be how they position their feet because mm -hmm. that's so crucial for like when you spring like are you going to turn your hips or whatever and because he hadn't that's the part of the game that he needs to develop like that's why he's having to like Maybe it's mad, like yeah, camera yeah. saves and that. Guys, yeah. we have our yeah. first bid that's coming from Grey Wolf Dinner. He has put the two pound bid on there on Petr Cech. So Petr Cech goes in in place of Peter Schmeichel. That is done. There's less than a minute to go on the timer now. So if anybody wants to take him off, it's going to cost you over two pounds to take <laughs> Petr Cech off. You're into the last minute wow. as we speak right now, people. Terry's so yeah. <laughs> Terry's like, don't know like anyone else. <laughs> hey, hey, That's what I'm thinking and feeling there. We're going into this last minute. Will anybody step up and do it? After this, we move on to centre-backs. We'll do centre-backs so, next. So, 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 when we're judging this, is this purely what you've done in the Premier League or just what you've done It's anyway? what you've done. Like, for me, when I look at Premier I don't think you can it's discount what people have done yeah. in the Champions League, FA Cups, League Cups, as a Premier League player. It's, yeah. it's overall for me. Yeah. We're in the last 30 seconds now, people. Petr Cech, is he going to be there? You see that comment from um, Zanaf N15, the Le Liverpool fan. There we go. We're in the last 20 seconds now, Petr Cech is going to be voted in by Grey Wolf Dinner, a big wow. Chelsea Fan. He's been regular on the football terrace for many, many years. Member as well. The final 10 seconds. You, you've literally got 10 seconds to change his mind. Otherwise, it is Petr Cech. No one's coming in. It's over. It's done. And it is finished. There we go. Petr Cech is in. Petr Cech makes it into the Premier League greatest team of all time. Now, we're going to move on and we're going to talk centre backs. I want I want to talk centre backs. This, is, this, this is gets a very very yeah, tacky one. Gets so in terms of the shortlist, in terms of the shortlist um for this, it is and I want to make sure I get this right here. The shortlist is Rio Ferdinand, yep. Tony Adams, Van Dijk, 
Thiago Silva was voted in. Oh, Thiago yeah. Silva got voted After in. A year and a half. Yep. He's he got, been can we just agree now? This man's not on the list. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I don't know how he got on the list. The man nah, Vidic and John list. and John Terry. What we're going to do is pick a pair. So pick a pair to be rather than individual. Pick a pair. Are we, are we picking them to complement each other? Mm, just picking the best two. Say that again, please. So just pick a two. Pick two of them. Say the list again. So you've got Rio Ferdinand, Tony Adams, Van Dijk. Silva, Vidic, John, John Terry. So if I go, it's going to be real. Yeah. For me, it's going to be real Terry. I'm, I'm, going, I'm going real Van Dyke. Yeah, real Terry. Yeah, Rio Terry. Rio Terry. Rio Terry. Rio Terry. Why Van Dyke? That what? would be. I'm sorry. Liverpool. That would That's be why. the coldest centre back pairing. John, you're not getting the ball of them. You're not outpacing them. You're not beating them in the air. Van Dyke. That, I'm just. I just in went terms with two. of his attributes, I get it. But very they're similar attributes. I get it. But Terry is. No, 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 but Terry is Terry is two different. I think. Rio and Van Dijk are too similar. Yeah. I hear that. Rio and Terry, they're, they're different so they can complement yeah. each other for weaknesses and strengths as well. Basically, like, I'd like to put Seiko Silva in there, but the right answer is Rio Terry. Yeah. That's the right answer. I think so. I think, that's what I would I think when you look at what they achieved, like, you look at both caps in their clubs. That's all I was about to say. Through, yeah. like, yeah. through like, the yeah. golden era. Like, yeah. you know, like, Rio and literally, literally was captain. Was he captain when they won the he championship? Wasn't, he, he wasn't captain for Man United. Vidic, Vidic uh, it was Gary Neville, and then it moves on to Vidic. Yeah, all right, okay, yeah. But I, I mean, mean, he used to take look, man, back sometimes when Vidic has Yeah, it was a, a double, Vidic, a Prem, and a Champions yeah. League. No Prem team's done that. Three Prems on the bounce. Mm. Come on, man. And then Terry's. No, I'd have Rio in mind. I'd have Rio in mind. I wouldn't have Terry in mind. I, I, listen, I can't really sit here and say that Terry's not. So, so let me ask you this question, guys. So, I think everyone's agreed that Rio should be in it. Yeah, so, yeah, Rio, yeah. Rio's already been placed yeah. into it. Who was the better footballer and player and defender? Van Dijk or Terry? Now, I'm asking that because, again, Ooh. there are some big names not on this list. Yeah. Sol Campbell didn't make the cut. He didn't vote in. Yeah. Yeah. Yapstam, Yapstam, Tony Adams. All in, actually, Tony Adams is on this list, but you had Sol Campbell should be in this to me, but he wasn't voted in. And I thought that um, Yapstam should be there. Yeah. If you're comparing John Terry and Virgil Van Dijk, they're both in front of you now. You can pick one centre back to put in your team. Who are you picking? This is, okay, okay, so let this I'll break it down. It depends what my team wants to do. If I want a, if I want to play a game where I want the defenders to be part of the midfield and bring the ball forward, Van Dijk, I'm going to bring him to, to me. But t pure defending, just pure defending, Terry as a pure defender, man. But when you say pure, I like, when you, I, I like what you're saying. I hear what you're yeah. saying. But when you say pure defending, what could Terry do that Van Dijk can't do? They're both commanding. They can both tackle. I just think Van Dijk's Dijk got more to physical as Terry. If, yeah. let's say, if you had a very physical striker, yeah. Terry could handle a very physical striker than more than Van Dijk. All right, so what... Oh, okay. okay, how many... Let me just ask you a question. There's physical strikers in the Premier League. Who has ever who has ever handled Van Dijk in a game? Maybe a top tier physical striker that was around... Remember, Terry's time was... We're talking... 01, 03, 04, 05. So this is Shevchenko was around. Delphi. Strikers were around back then. Bro, everyone is like false nine, all these small kind of guys. Which are the tough strikers? Oh, man, this is going to be a long day. No, they're, oh, they're not there. I mean, what you could counter that with, though, is like they're, they're a lot more technical. You've got more wing forwards that are like but it's different. better on the it's, ball. Like, yeah, it's not they're cutting behind. Goal. They've got a defense goal. Yeah. So no, it's, no, no, got it's, it's, goal, it's a different challenge. Yeah, like, yeah, I think it's a different challenge. I think, it's not physical. I don't, I wouldn't like, would, are we saying that because he came up against more physical defenders that his job was harder? I don't, I, I think, think there was more world-class strikers in that time. Like, no, no, no doubt about no, it. No, that's a fact. Oh, no, they definitely just asked me, like, what could, or like, what does Terry have that Van Dijk doesn't have? And I'll say, like, what Terry has I that Terry... he was a lot physical and could deal with a very physical striker. Now, in today's world, but that's what that doesn't game, mean anything that's in today's yeah, game. Exactly, exactly, so, exactly. I think Terry was probably a better reader of the game if you're just looking at somebody yeah. because Terry didn't rely on pace. Van Dyke can always cheat and catch you back but up. How much yeah. does, but how much pace but, does Van Dyke really use, though? Like Van Dyke he doesn't have a lot, to use it a lot. Van Dyke does, yeah. does a lot of interception because he reads the game so well. Terry, so it's like Terry was just so smart and he was always true. one step ahead. It's almost yeah. like he's playing chess and he was always exactly where the ball I, was going to be. There's a comment here. I, I want to ask. Say her, maybe he's a better leader. I want to ask you this comment here. This, this comment here says Terry faced better forwards. He did. Yeah. Fact. And that was the Fact. point I was trying to make of the 100%. strikers at that time. Hundred percent. Strikers don't. Now, I can't argue. I can't argue with that. But my counter would be that okay, the forwards now might not be as good. But Van Dyke is so far ahead of every other, other defender now that I kind of counters that because he's actually clear of every other defender at the moment. 
how many great defenders exist now? There are a few. There's a few. In the you Prem. can't name these five top tier defenders yeah, right, right, right in the Premier League. If we think of, no, no, in the world. If, in the world. We think of so, Rio, if we think of Rio and Terry's time, yeah, no, that, yeah, the no, early way more. 2000s, yeah, yeah. yeah, you had more world class centre backs. You had more world class strikers. But yes. that, is that just not a product of the game in general? That's not just, there were just more world class players than full stop. You had more better Maybe. midfielders. Like, Every position you could say. I think, like, if you put Van Dijk in 2000, he's not the best defender in the world. 2000. I don't know about that, you know. 2000, I think Van Dijk know, is that good. He he's in the convert, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, you had like Cannavaro and Maldini yeah. in the no, man then as well. But, but, but he would like, be in the conversation. He's not as far ahead now because the game has changed so much that they're not, you're not really producing as many defender defenders. Because kids right now are like, oh, I want to play from the back because right now defenders now have to be good on the ball, play from the back. So that kind of rudimentary nuts on both defending that was around in 2001 ends around in. I think, I think that's unfair, I think that's unfair, though. I think that's unfair, though. I think that's unfair, though, to kind of use that as a stick to beat. Man, it's not his fault that he's in a, he's in a worse era. No. But in this era now, comparing his best to John Terry's best, I think it's kind of... It's quite but we, we, if you take away from football, <coughs> if you turn around and... If Anthony Joshua had a longer reign as world champion, does that make him better than Muhammad Ali? Or do you have to compare the eras and the yeah. level of fight yeah, that they boxed? It, it definitely mm. gives you a... It gives you an advantage, well, not an advantage, but it gives you something to talk about. But like you said, it's error to error. So, why well, you super about chat here? Sorry, guys. Super chat here says, oh, how, no. how much should I pay to put? Listen, if you want to pay to put Maguire don't, in it, that's your point. Go on, do it. Do it. Pounds. He deserves it. I dare you to pay. 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 I dare you to So, in terms of going around this table now, are we. It's three to one on Rio Terry. Rio Terry. Who's so? Oh yeah, you went Van. Dijk. Yeah, I went Van. Dijk. Listen, yeah, I can't really argue with Terry. I just thought I want to argue my boys. <laughs> I've, done, I've, done, I've done a decent no, job. I've done, I've done a decent I, job. But I, yeah, I, I would say definitely like Van Dyke's prime. Like just looking at his yeah. prime, like and the prime levels that they hit. Like he's up there with all of them. You could almost argue that he's a butt like. What I've seen at his yeah. best. Uh, do you know what's interesting about this argument well, as well? Those, though? But uh, the longevity of those guys are more. Uh, is mad, yeah. but what, what I like about it, this super chat sums it up perfectly. I want to read this out. It says, How can this be the highest quality of Prem era, but the worst defenders, midfielders, and forwards in the Prem era? Nostalgia playing a part. Well, Will, this isn't the highest quality Prem era of all time. That's being pushed by two sets of fans yeah. who want their current teams to be regarded as the greatest teams of all time. The best Prem era we had was from about 0405 mm. till about 2010 yeah. where at the beginning of every season you could quite legitimately say Man United or Chelsea mm. or Arsenal during that period could win the league yeah. there was a handful of those seasons where Liverpool could win the league yeah. and all three of those teams every year went into the Champions League and Eight all the and were all seen as teams that could win it yeah. we are not at that we are not at a level in the prem yet where we're three to four teams deep Every season that could win the league and win the Champions League. So it's is teams. this arguably it's, it's, the more exciting Premier League? Yeah, it might be. Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't the, know. The, Those the, times the, are exciting. Look at the managers that were around as well. Like, I mean, you had like Wenger, Mourinho, Fergie. Well, you, you like, you know, you like the, now, what right? managers yeah. now? Like, I, mean, I think the rivalry. Good, I, think the, like, I think the rivalries were better then because you had oh, three, yeah, man, yeah, you had three yeah, managers yeah, who genuinely didn't like each other. Yeah. Now it seems like the pep clock things are like a little bit forced. Like it, it, the league's exciting now. There's no doubt, and I don't think it's it's. it's so I keep hearing this. There's no great centre backs about, and then you keep hearing. Yeah, but celebrate my team's goal scoring record. I'm like, well, I can't celebrate a goal scoring record if there's no good centre backs. Yeah. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah. which, which of the two things is it? I, I think the quality isn't again. I don't think the quality is diminished from that era to this era by a massive amount. I, I think they're they're almost in the same ballpark. But you always get these arguments of this era is better than that era and whatnot. But I look at it from a case of we had four dominant English teams domestically that were brilliant. And look, Arsenal fizzled out towards the end of that time and Liverpool were kind of sporadic in that time. Yeah. But Chelsea and Man United were pretty consistent through that period. Um, and again, in Europe, the, and we're doing it now, though, we're starting to dominate in Europe again. And Chelsea are maybe one summer away from joining the, the, the Liverpools. I thought you were Man City for a second. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. You guys are quitting. You're like, no, no, no. You're wrong, mate. I think you're like, so, viewers, so we're gonna start the, we are going to start the five-minute countdown again for you right about now, people. It's John Terry and Rio Ferdinand that are in there, as you can see. However, we've already had a super chat that puts Virgil van Dyke. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Into yes, my dog. Come on. So, Virgil was... van Dyke in. So, out comes John Terry. Virgil van Dyke in. You do have a five minute period if you want to turn that just under five minutes now to turn that around. It'll cost you over two British pounds to get that done. Remember, 
is all donations to the football terrace. We really appreciate it. It keeps us going. It keeps us in this studio as we look to continue growing. So a massive thank you to everybody that supports us. It's no different to giving to PayPal, um, but it's a little bit more fun, really. You can have a bit of a giggle with it. So you've got your, your five minutes or so to do that. Um, flew as tax, put John Terry. It's not my fault, Alexa. <laughs> It's not my fault. I would have personally. I wouldn't have picked John Terry either. I would have picked Vidic and Rio okay. because I just think that they're, they're the best partnership. The As best a parent, team. Untouched. <laughs> yeah, untouched. yeah, yeah, untouched. yeah. Untouched. I, 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 that's who I would. But I'm obviously very. I would pick eleven Man United players for this whole thing. Like I'm not <laughs> joking. Um, no, I wouldn't really. But there we go. Uh, Mohammed here says uh, Virgil Van Dyke easy. Uh, Wolf says Terry out. I don't know if he means John Terry or me. <laughs> Mustafi is what's being said here. A little bit of, bit, bit of trolling going on oh, uh, with this one here. Hang on a minute. Look at this. Put John Terry back in and Vinic over Rio. Well, can you do? That's we can't do for yeah, both. Yeah, 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 you, you can't yeah, do for both because yeah, the, yeah. the three pound is going to take Virgil van Dijk out and it's going to put John Terry back into the yeah, mix, yeah, as you can Liverpool see now. Where my Liverpool fans at, man? Get Virgil That's back gonna in. It's going to cost you over that three pound. Dexter stepping up and back in his Chelsea football club. Tonight on the football terrace, um, look, if anyone wants to change it, you know what to do. It's all a little bit of fun. It's all a little bit of a giggle. There's a good comment here from Prime, actually. And I've got to find it. Where's it gone? It says uh, Carvalho needs a mention. Facts. It was good. He did. He was, he was very but good. He, good. Was, he, was good, but yeah. he finessed Terry's training. You know, like, in that, like, basically, Terry learning off him yeah. refined like all of his attributes. Like, just so we, gave him that experience, passed the baton to him. It was like kind of like the 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 Jedi Master and the Young Apprentice yeah. kind of related, the, yeah. the, the, the Young Padawan How kind of thing that you see throughout the Premier League era, or like just in general. What did Dom Lendy King get? What? He weren't in it. No, let me give. I'll Sorry, give Lendy quickly, King a special people. shout. Out. Van Dyke's been voted back in. Oh, Virgil yeah. Van Dyke is back. In come on, that's been oh, done by it. David. There, he is back in the team as it stands. Right about now. Do, you, do, you, do you think Van Dyke is already in an all time conversation of the, the defender? 100%. 100%. Yeah. All time, yeah, in the Premier League. No, 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 all time, not uh, outside all the Premier League, as in like I'm talking like the globe. Nah, planet I, mean, I don't know about that. Yeah. You're just, so you're Liverpool fans have been trying to say that. So, Liverpool fans have been trying to say that. Van Dyke, you've got like, so like in terms of in terms of the vote, actually, no, was Ledley King on it? Ledley King came. He was in, he was with Rio Carvalho, Tony Adams. Now Tony Adams and Carvalho were only separated yeah. by two oh, wow. percent. Uh, Rio got sixty percent of that vote. Le Ledley King got two point six percent of that, that vote. Um, <laughs> that I, in terms I, of that, I voted, I voted yeah. for King and I voted for Terry. Yeah, jo sorry, not King. Sorry, I voted for Rio and Terry. I, I, another player that missed out, but he was in with Sol. He come bottom of the pile, but he was with Sol Campbell, Van Dyke, John Terry. That was Vincent Company. Uh, oh, but, okay, yeah, always, yeah, yeah. but the quality is so high. But I just thought I just thought I'd find out what yeah, Lady King it. was my guy. But it goes back to what we were saying earlier. One second, yeah. one second, yeah. one, one second, one, guys, one second here. Uh maybe but 2019 Champions League final, Liverpool this. If Liverpool win the quad, does Virgil go back? Put this on him as well. So that's another fight. So that means now it's gonna take four plus it had one sorry four plus eight sorry nine that's not it's going to take 10 plus and then there's another two that's come in here wow. so it's going to take 11 of your pounds or dollars to get virgil van dyke out of this team he come on guys you can do this and he is yeah, secured and there's very little time left to go you've got a minute left remaining wow. it's going to cost you over that 11 pound mark to get that done are chelsea fans going to step up for john terry tonight or are we about to see the inclusion of Virgil van Dijk in the greatest Premier League team of all time. What is the Football Terrace community going to do for us tonight? I don't know wow, wow, uh, what's wow. going to happen. And we're into the last 30 seconds. I don't even want to talk. I just want to see if, <laughs> if I'm intrigued to know what's going to happen here. Um, but there we go. Michael Dubry. What a player he was, eh? <laughs> a lot of Chelsea fans don't know who that is. Bro, that's from that back in the day. Last in the past, that was, man. Yeah. That's from uh, back in the day. Oh, I got oh, wow. John Terry. Oh, Terry. No. Oh, that's the oh. Start the clock again. Start go. the minute oh, clock. There's a minute go. added back on. As wow. we said, there would be. There'll be a minute added back on here. Oh, hey, hey, Sam, bro, get your, get your wallet out, man. He's back get, in. Get, get, He's get back in. in. And there will be a minute's time added back on here as we all, we're going to do that. We want to be fair to people. Chelsea, uh, this. 
<laughs> uh, Chelsea, he did it. <laughs> Dexter <laughs> did it. He's going to be here for a while. Look at it there. Look at it like, there. Dexter it feels doing like it. an episode of Story Time. <laughs> there we go. Chelsea, Chelsea coming with that new money, man. <laughs> 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 that, that long break. <laughs> but yeah, he just went and done that there. Dexter's getting a lot of love from the football terrace community tonight, uh, as you can see. Uh, Dexter here, getting getting any support from his guys. Let's go, Dex, is what Bella's got to say. How are you doing, Bella? Long time no see. Musta, he's happy with that. Dex has been called a goat. They're backing him tonight as we go into the last 10 seconds here. Ooh. Have Chelsea fans stepped up again? Um, how many watching remember the Prem before 2010, though? Virgil van Dijk. It's not quite enough. To, oh, no, it isn't. Hey, no, you need eight. eight. You need eight. No. no, because it's an accumulation. That is enough to get him in, Andrew. You put it over the mark there because it's a bidding process. Start the timer again. He's <laughs> in by a pound. Oh, wow, really? It's a cumulative right. amount. doesn't yeah. wipe out the previous amounts that have been put in. Oh, Does that make sense? Right. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that starts over again. Oh, 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 hang on here. Hang on, though. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What currency is that? That's for the 200. I was waiting. 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 That's well, six pounds. It's six pounds, seven pounds. That's actually quite a bit. That's seven yeah. pounds. So that means Van Dyke is six pounds clear with 45 seconds remaining. My guys. The bar yeah. check on the currency. Uh, there we go. We have to stop for that. Because, <laughs> of course, we add the amounts up. We can't take away what other people have bid before. We can't do that. That would be very unfair to everybody else that is super chatting. And we don't do that. It's not worth 50p, no. Um, but there we go. There is 30 seconds remaining. Wow. Virgil van Dijk is in. I probably have some paper adding this up, but I, 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 I can do it in my head. And I've got these three wise men with me. Four wise cool. men with me. Sorry. I'm sorry, have hope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But there we go. Looks like Virgil made it. Virgil's going to do it. The going to his last man. 10 seconds. Terry playing 4D chess with people's life savings. savings. right? You know is, there we go. It's, it's done. And it's Virgil van Dijk in the team. Oh, wow. Calm as you like. It's there Virgil go. van Dijk in the sure team. Let me just look at his face. Van Dijk is in. Virgil and Rio said about pairing. I'm not sure how I feel about this. Oh, oh look, keep is... Virgil as well. Hang on, keep. Oh, it came too late. They came too late. Oh, they were dude. past the clock. Oh, they were past the clock. Oh, boys, oh, I'm wow. sorry. Snooze, you're loose. Yeah. I know. I know. Listen. That's good for, yeah, yeah. Because because sometimes the stream can be behind. That's the thing with the time. Yeah. yeah. So then, so so, so their timings will be Maybe different. You should start again, Terry. No, I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. Terry, bro. I, you I, you I, we said that our viewers love doing this. They they love donating to the terrace. They like giving super chats. But they were asking for a clock because they were like, we never quite know. And one guy was, oh, but you do the clock and you don't show us it. So we've done the clock on purpose. But Dexter, what we can do, bro? If you want to put that on to another section later you can don't super chat again tell us a normal chat and we'll put it onto the next section for you brother we'll respect you like that my friend top top man no doubt uh at all um but listen wow. virgil van dyke's been voted into the team as we Come can on. see Love and now we're team. moving on we're moving on to fullbacks mm. what what you start you're, you're saying what are we saying fullback wise you want what, to see the, what, what are we doing are we doing flying fullbacks or are we doing defensive it's, 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 no, 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 it's, it's like, actually no, it's a Ashley Cole, Cole. Yeah, that's a short Sorry, combo. Don't deal. He Ashley might Cole. think it's blue. Trent. I might think it's red. But, but Ashley Cole, Trent. we Ashley both Cole. know, that's it. was the I best left back. Left back, left back, left back, no Period. doubt it's Ashley yeah. Cole. Ashley Has to be. There's no See, right back. But, but 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 I know we're saying hands down. But I want to put an honourable mention there for my Scottish brave heart, Andy Robertson. He's in the convo. He's in the convo. Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole. But I'm saying this guy came out of our academy, age 18, yeah, and before he went to Chelsea. He, he was yeah. already you know, he was, he was already chatting he was already chatting to Roberto Carlos before yeah, he went to no, no, but, okay can I make your Reese James arguments or trends am I allowed no, to do that no no nah. I'm not allowed so nah. this conversation nah. you, you, hang on one second nah. so you think Stop Reese it. James is better than Trent no. I'm just saying there's a clock tax on Trent there's the what there's I no think. clock tax I think nah. there's a clock tax so Southgate just doesn't know how to use him Trent is has redefined. I don't, I'm not even saying it's like relax. Don't he's relax. redefined the role of right back. Yeah, he definitely he's has. he is a so he Kaffee is a never existed. Kaffee did exist, but he took it to another level. 
Yeah, Cafu is, was world class, but Trent is also world class. Trent has been the best right back in the Premier League era, hands down. In the don't want to hear, don't want to hear, don't want to hear no Gary Neville. Don't want to hear no Gary Neville. Don't want to hear no Gary Neville. Don't want to hear no Aston Equator. It's Trent. That's it. Case closed. That's it. So look, what you got to think here, right? You got to make it relative, right, to a team that as big as Liverpool had not won a league title in 13 years, 3-0, yeah, mm. which for Liverpool is just mad, right? But this guy as a teenager, he wasn't just part of that team. Like, for me, Trent, Fabinho and Van Dijk are more important than Salah. 100%. Salah gets the goals, Trent's but without the those guys behind him, yeah, like, assists, yeah, like yeah. basically the, the whole system, system is geared towards Salah, but they're the components that make Salah tick. Like, Nah, like Trent was doing that as a teenager. What, uh, let, me, let me throw someone and, and, and let me throw right. another name in here, boys. What about because he's played fullback, left and right, and he can play centre back? Cesar Aspilicueta. Very good, steady yeah. Eddie. Can't, can't. Right. Well, we're talking right back. Does you see Aspilicueta? No, but, so like, the, the conversation back. is the conversation is fullback. So, mm. like, I, I look at look, I, I think Trent is amazing. I know he's redefined that role. The problem is with the only thing with all time. Is he not too young to be voted into That's that yet? That's what I was going to say. Because we, we have... I know that... I know it's, look, he, the, the, the poll put him into it, and I think he yeah, has yeah. to be included because of how well he's done. Mm. But we haven't seen him without Jurgen Klopp yet. Yeah. We haven't seen him with a slightly different system or manager. Yeah, and yeah. we don't know about longevity. We, we, you know, he, he has won a Premier League, won a Champions League, which is absolutely astronomical. But shouldn't there be a few more years... I'm not being... Yeah. Because, because, if, because, if, because if... I know... Okay... No, Rams has a bad example because they only do it one year. But if there was a striker that was scoring a higher goal scoring ratio than Henri for yeah. say three seasons, yeah. won yeah. two Prems in the Champions League, would it would anybody vote him in above Thierry Henry as a goat? No. Or would my, you even my, put him in goat striker my conversation? Thing, my thing is with the Trent thing, like we, we say he's not been in he's, he's, this is his fifth season now for Liverpool, established mm -hmm. right back. That's half a decade. How many, all the other most of the other players on our list maybe had like five, six, seven years, went on to another league. Bar an injury, I think we can all agree Trent's only going to get better. He's, uh, his ceiling's only going to go. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to. He's not going to. He's not going to tell you. Twenty-three. Off. He has already overtaken Daniel with his all-time record for um, assist for a fullback. Mm. No, no. And, and also, say my thing is that you say he's he's too young. My thing is even when you see when, when he said left back, I already knew the name. When he said right back, I'm thinking from nineties, like ah, who stands that? And now what's now say Trent? There's no other right spot that oh, I could even say that has already like made an then, impact then, that then, Trent has been in that position. So it's oh, like Irwin, Neville. But I feel like people only Aspen, need to put Neville in. I feel like people um, used to put Neville Ivanovic. in. Ivanovic. Like an easy Why? choice. Where, where was he on this? Ivanovic didn't. Ivanovic. 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 They were both on the poll. They just didn't get voted in. Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure what their percentage was. Look, look. Trent Alexander-Arnold is a better football player Can we than. Put Trent in if he doesn't defend. Like not being funny. Like. This is a myth, though. Like, it's not. Oh, yeah. you, know, you, you want to see the TikTok? Of he's not a great defender. He got what? spun. He him got spun he'll, by Martin. He's not a great defender. He's not a great defender. Defenders, and, and defenders, defenders look, will always get you know one on one. We've got to recognise him. Last season, right? Manchester City and Liverpool had the two highest, on average, per ninety defensive lines mm. of all the Premier League teams. Yeah. So if you are positioning your defensive line higher, you're leaving space behind you. Yeah. Right. So if your manager is then telling you. As a fullback, I want you to get forward into midfield. He's he's got seven assists this season, Trent, from inside the box. Yeah, he's, he's a fullback. As high up so, as you can so get. He's essentially a midfielder. I get James is clear as a defender, like defensively, yeah, yeah. attributes wise. I if I wanted someone who was more solid defensively, I'm going with James every yeah. day of the week, twice yeah. on a Sunday. But what people like with this Trent can't defend thing. If you've got a guy who's in the box that much as a fullback, and of course, people, like this is why Martinelli got a lot of change from um, against Liverpool because our our transition is very fluid, it's very quick, and Martinelli pinned him back, yeah, like and and he's more his defensive weaknesses are more. They're, they're, they're more, they're more a product of the system than, I, than his and, and, actual and, and, and ability. I get that. I get that, defend. and I get all of that. Like, but the question, the question I would pose is this: We said earlier about goalkeepers, yeah, yeah. but we're not going to discount Czech and Schmeichel mm -hmm. because in their era, 
goalies weren't tasked with play, being brilliant yeah, at playing yeah, out yeah, from yeah, the back, yeah, yeah, as yeah. an example. The same as centre-backs from John Terry's era, Tony Adams' era. We don't have a go at them for not being brilliant at that. Ball, so yeah. the yeah. role of fullback has changed change, now, and change. they are more. a lot of them are more attacking than they are oh. defending. That doesn't. But that's because the systems back in the day meant that Gary Neville, that Ashley Cole, that... Uh, oh. Zabaleta, Irwin, to name a few, Lauren. Uh, the wingers, uh, are, wingers are right in front of him. The, 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 wingers, yeah, yeah, the, the yeah. wingers did that job. So it's almost a case of it's not Gary Neville's fault that his job was to defend. The same as it isn't Trent's fault that he has to get forward and cross yeah, the ball. Because yeah, Gary right. Neville could cross the ball, not as good as Trent. No. But if Gary Neville's job was to be in the, in the other half of the pitch and he was just crossing balls into the box all game, I guarantee he'd have more assists. <laughs> yeah, and and what, what's yeah. changed, I think, with fullbacks, it's become a very fashionable and sexy role to play. Yeah, not, and yeah. I, think that, I think that helps to elevate all these youngsters coming through a lot more now than a, a, a stodgy old defender. No, no, no. I mean, to put it simply is focus on the error. Did... When, during the time of Neville or Erwin, did they stand out as the right back? No. no. During his era, Ashley Cole stood out as the left back. Yeah. yeah. During his era, Trent has stood out as the yeah, right back. But, yeah, but, but Ashley Neville. Cole for me, Ashley Cole for me stood out. I know at Arsenal, he got forward more. You know, the, 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 the rule was with Jose, he didn't let him pass the halfway line. But the, what we celebrate about Ashley Cole, barring a handful of times, couldn't beat the man. No. You couldn't get past he the had man. So, in his so, so the point I'm making he is, pocket. he was. If you actually look at it from that point of view, if we are looking at the attacking element of Trent as to why he's the best right back, mm. the reason that you're looking at Ashley Cole as being the best is because he was so good defensively. No, no, no. If overall, round, over, yeah, all, he, all, he, all he, round. Ashley Cole is more than. He could go forward, but he could go forward though. But he is, but he is not celebrated for his attacking attributes. He wasn't celebrated like a Danny Alves or a Cafu. Or a, Marcel, or a Marcelo, or who's the other guy I'm thinking of who played for Inter and got cooked by Bao? Who was that? Oh, oh, Zanetti. Zanetti. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Brazilian. Oh, Michael, 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 Michael. Michael. He was, Cole wasn't looked at. Cole was looked at as better than them because he was better defensively. Yeah. And that's all. I'm not saying that Trent shouldn't be on the list. I'm yeah. simply stating that we are judging Trent. We, we are almost discounting right backs who are brilliant at defending that's in an fair. era where they weren't meant, to, where they were meant to defend. <laughs> and equally, we're accrediting someone like Ashley Cole as being the best because he. I know he was good at going forward, but. So is Gary Neville. He shows called the overlap for a reason. He invent, pretty much invented overlapping. So he he kind of initiated an attacking element. He just wasn't done as regularly. So I get the point. Yeah. I get the point. I just think that we shouldn't undo what players were tasked with in a certain era because that yeah. isn't that isn't it's fair. That's not fair. But I think, but my thing though is that even if we go into that era and be like, okay, Neville, this is this is the, the era of four four two and everything. He still didn't stand us as the. Was Neville really that much better than Lee Dixon? Really? <laughs> nah, he was. He was. Yeah. He was. No, no, but he was. was it? Was it fully? It wasn't. Fully well, I think fair. Neville has in his it favor. Neville's fair. got. So Neville's got so... longevity and the fact he was in a winning team. So yeah. I feel like in that, like. The class of 92, right? Fergie ripped up that team, put it back together, ripped up that team, put it back together, right? The common threads that stayed in it, Skulls, Neville, right? They didn't move. Gigs. Like, yeah, gigs as well, yeah. Like, those three didn't move. And... If you think like how much football changed when they remain constant, I'll they, give, they I'll, have I'll give you a very quick one. Man. Sorry, 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 sorry. A very quick one. Guys, 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 guys let me just jump in. I've got to jump in. I've got to jump in and, and score you on Man United. <laughs> Jim Layton. Do you know who he is? So Jim Layton was Fergie's goalkeeper at Aberdeen that helped him stop the power. He literally was the only manager to stop the, the, the Glasgow Celtic Rangers dominance in the league, mm -hmm. and he stopped it. Won league titles. Won the a, a, won a European Cup with them. Jim Layton was his goalkeeper, a trusted man. Brought him down to Manchester United. He was having a terrible season the year that we won the FA Cup. All four in the first game in the FA Cup. Fergie not only dropped him because of that, he sold him after that as Never well. Fergie was ruthless. If you were not good enough for a Fergie team, he got rid of you. So the point is, if Gary Neville was this liability or this problem or not very good, he wouldn't have been a store. He wouldn't, hang on, no, no, but he wouldn't have been made captain. Fergie never did anything on sentiment. It was always about how good are you? And if there was a better right back, 
available, would've, would've gone he would have gone and bought him. He would what? not have gone, oh, there's a great right back available there that we can go and get, but I'm, I'm going to be sentimental and stick with Gary Neville for 15 years. No, he wouldn't have done no, it. No, 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 I'm not. I never said Neville was liability, although the guy sold fruits. So it was like, it was complete trash. I, ne I never said that. All I said is that Scores is different because we know how people like Javin, people talk about Scores. So Scores was still in a vacuum, an amazing midfielder. Neville was decent, but really, Fergie made you. He made you. He, like, he, like, he, he made, was consistent. Like, he was consistent. Yeah. I get, I get no, your points. Also, he was, he was I get your points. Decent. I get your points. Yeah, I, was, I get decent. your points. But boys, we're going to go into the countdown now. Currently in there, as voted by the panel, as you can see, is Trent Alexander-Arnold and... Ashley Cole. They are the two that are in. They are the two that have been put in by the team. Now, I just want to put, put, put this point out there that five pounds has already been put onto Trent. So that one of the first super chats for, uh, oh that's been put across. Now, Dexter, you can put yours on whoever you want. Uh, but five pounds is on Trent. You have to put at least six pounds in if you want Trent Alexander Arnold out. Ashley Cole is in there as well. Get yourselves voting, people. The, the countdown clock has started. Dexter, I'm going to try and keep an eye out for your super chat coming through. Um, as it were, right now. What, what happened to yeah, Ever? not your super chat, your comment. Your yeah, comment. Ever by the way. Ever, Ever got voted in. Yeah. I just, do you know what it's to me? I love Ever. Ever is brilliant. He just isn't better than what Ashley Cole no. was. No. And it's very close between those two. Yeah. But Can I just think. Yeah, no, 100% it's Ashley Cole. I just wondered where we was. But no, he's, he's definitely. Who were the other left backs? Oh, it was Erwin. Erwin Ever. Yeah, Erwin, Erwin, yeah, Ever, Erwin Ever, Gary Neville, and then the two that are in there. Those five. In Carl Walker, and Aspie. Ah, like, <laughs> uh, we relax with the Carl Walker thing, man. No, Walker, yeah. Carl Walker, 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 Walker is. A, one thing Carl Walker does a lot more than Trent, when it's. it's brain fart moments yeah. yeah so he silly back passes he makes a lot of mistakes where trent's is more just i still think he's he'll just get he'll just get ripped and yeah it, it looks peak to watch but it can happen if you're on your if it's one v one defending like we need to figure out what we want here because people wax lyrical about about wan basaka's one v one defender but no one here would say he's anywhere near any list so like what do yeah. we want what do we want do you want someone who's just a one v one merchant, or do we want someone who's got like no, 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 balance, say, balance? Yeah, I've always had a penchant for attacking fullbacks, man. You know, like so. I'm well, probably going to be a bit biased towards them. It depends on the system that you're playing. Like, like if you're a Mourinho kind of person, you want that one v one guy. But if you're an attacking guy, you want a guy who can cross. Basically, like look at Marcel, one of my favorite players of all time. The guy couldn't defend. But that guy was crucial for Real Madrid because yeah, he was 100. such an amazing player. Yeah, so he, that's, he was that's so crucial to Ronaldo. Dude. That's that's yeah. what's gonna that's what's gonna be so interesting as and when Klopp goes, the new manager, what he wants. Like I'm just intrigued. It's not for of course as a United fan, you want Liverpool to go backwards. Yeah. Only an idiot, yeah. only an idiot wouldn't want them to. But I am as a football fan intrigued to see just how certain players change and adapt and do things differently. Um I just stand like we, we, we've seen it. You know, it's going to be an intriguing time. There's no doubt. I haven't seen any. Uh, Dexter here put my money on Ashley Cole and Aspie. So hang on. So Ashley Cole's in. So that means uh, Trent has been taken out. Mm. The seven pounds oh, has wow. gone on to Aspie Quetta. <laughs> Why would he take him out? That's what are we doing? What are we doing here, guys? So what there we, we go. It's it's going to cost. Again, it will cost a pound to get him out because it's it's so no two pounds to get him out is where it will be. Um, in terms of legacy, man, Aspie's really... We can't be... Aspie, <laughs> sorry, guys. I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. Sorry, sorry. If Aspie was voted into a, 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 an all-time Premier League mm. defence, I wouldn't be offended by it. He is wow. so good. The consistency. The consistency is mad. It's crazy. The consistency is crazy. Centre back, right back, left back. He's played as a right. Yeah. He's played as a full back. He's played as a wing back. Yeah, and, and, right. and he rarely goes below a seven in each game. He rarely goes below a seven in each game. I hear that. I still, you, like, still when, when you're a, when you're a full back in this era and you don't have pace and like you're just your anticipation and everything is just so on point that you can basically do, it's like Daredevil, isn't it? That Marvel hero. Yeah. <laughs> he's like blind, yeah. So he's all of his other it's senses are heightened. Yeah, yeah. Aspilicueta is one of those defenders. Do you, do, you know, do, I mean? do you know what's interesting as well? Dennis Irving gets a mention at everything. Do you know what's amazing about Dennis? Yeah, but do you know consistent. what's amazing about him? Not even his consistency for me. He played the majority of his career in the Prem as a left back. And in his, his period was probably the best left back in the league. Mm -hmm. But he was right footed and a right back. Yeah. <laughs> he was a, yeah. so when you actually think about that, would Ashley Cole have been as good if, you, if for eight years you said you've got to play right back? And would Trent be as good if you said, right, for the next eight years you've got to play left back? Yeah, that's great. Like, that's how good Dennis Irwin was as a footballer. Mate, He's massively piece, underrated. Well, his leadership. Yeah, his I've got great. some super yeah. chats here. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Sorry, some super chats here that says, how fast 
So how fast you will forget that Trent has only been really good for three seasons and not the whole five seasons that he's been in the league. Sheriff, you didn't make a nomination of where you wanted the money to go, though. Cut. If you're going to super... No, sorry, guys. One if you're going to super chat, let us know what you want to put it on, my bro. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really help us. But that's what he said. And we're into the last 40 seconds here. So as it stands, it's going to be Aspie... And it is going to be Ashley Cole. Chelsea, the Chelsea man. fans are backing their team to <laughs> night. Yeah. No, Aspie shouldn't be in there, man. So that's, not that's as an all-time Premier League full. That's no, no, no. For me, like, this, this, you see, this, this is what I, I always... Like <laughs> you've got like you've got your legacy from what you've won, you've got your legacy from how good you were, like your attributes, yeah. And like yeah, Aspie on Aspie on 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 what you want, he smashes all of them, like apart but, from but when, when when was Aspie's peak? Five seconds. Can now. any can any of us say <laughs> when was done? It's done, it's Aspie. <laughs> hey Dexter, I see you, bro. Dexter, I see you, bro. I see you, I see you. <laughs> they caught they caught you back at Van Dyke. Oh, no! They caught you back. Wait, what, what? It came in literally. Oh, wait, hold on. No, you're too late. You yeah. missed oh, it. No, no, you no, missed no, it. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> Oh, oh yes. lost me. They were, they were looking Hey, to David, me, my guy. Next time, next time. Now, we go David, again. Wow. We go David, again. David, we go David, again. David, David, we will we will pass yours over to hey, the next to David, the next section. David, I'm telling you now, save it for Stephen Gerrard. We're gonna need you on that one, bro. <laughs> so they're gonna come for us and say he's not got a prem. <laughs> save it for Stevie G, yeah. yeah? Save your piece for Stevie G. We so, need you, bro. Uh, I need to respond to this as well. Free citizens in no company. Yeah, listen. It's not a biased channel. We put an open poll out on the internet that anyone could vote on. Yaya, KDB, Company, Walker, Zabba. Every single one of them players on there was on the vote. I'm sorry, barring Carl Walker. It's your duty as a City fan who watches the terrace to share it with your City fans and make sure they vote. Yeah. Like, um, all ten of them. It's your responsibility to have a fan base. One sec, bro. One sec. <laughs> Patrick Vieira wasn't going to be on the shortlist, and then I saw Arsenal fans all day retweeting it, and it got into it. That's what you need to do, my bro. It's not about us being biased. It's literally a democracy here, and the votes came in. Now, as I said earlier, uh, David, um, who put the ten pounds on Trent, we will roll that over to the next round, which is mid. Fielders. We're moving on to midfielders now, boys. Get crazy. Mm. What are we again? You've got a pick. We're doing a four-three-three. So, so three midfield. get three midfield players that go into this team. Oh, run me by the options again. One sec. Somebody is saying that Terry, the ten pounds before the time ran out. It wasn't here. Like honestly, it ran out. If you go back and watch it, it came through after that. Um, so we'll hand it over to the next side. I, I would say don't leave it until the last ten seconds because we start the minute again if you beat someone in the last minute anyway. So don't leave it so late, my people, uh, as best you can. But the finalists for midfield are Paul Scholes, Cesc Fabregas, Frank Lampard, Vieira, Angola Kante, Stephen Gerrard. I'll, okay, I'm 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 first oh, Kante. Vieira. No, no, Kante. no, no, no. Vieira. Vieira. No, no, no. Vieira. Right, one at a time. Go, go on, go on. Okay, first. so my three are Kante, Scholes. <laughs> you don't even know. Don't, you don't even know. <laughs> say what you no, no, want to no, say. Okay. Yeah. We don't be doing this. Yeah. I always hear this. This Kante Vieira. I'm, right, I'm, we're gonna I'm good this. enough for me. Personally, for me, I'm gonna say Kante, Scholes, Vieira. Kante scores Vieira. I'm not. I'm not hearing that one. I'm going Lampard, Gerrard, Kante. You're not putting skulls in. I'm not hearing wow. that one either. Wow. Lampard, Lampard, Gerrard. You've got creative players there. You've got goal this scorers. Is and you've got Kante will... as your as your DM. No, 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 no. This no, is. No, I'm not putting skulls in. No. This is going to be hella controversial, right? But I would go Gerrard, skulls. Vieira. My guy, man. <laughs> That's yes. who I go with. Yes. I know Lampard got the goals. He's got everything. And everyone's going to be like, he's an Arsenal fan. Of course, he's everything. ducking a Chelsea man out. Lampard, you know, Lampard, Scholes, Lampard Scholes was a better footballer than Lampard. Let's yeah, be real. Yeah, right? yeah, he, was he was a better footballer. Was, yeah. But at the end of the day, yeah. Lampard got you results. Of course he yeah. was a winner. Of course. No, no. All of them I, I goals. I all of them is... I know I know hindsight. I know hindsight's twenty twenty. But if you put Gerrard in that Chelsea midfield, he's doing everything Lampard did. So yeah. This is the thing, like, Vieira, 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 Vieira and Gerard, Vieira and Gerard, pretty much are two guys that, like, they played as sixes, they played as eights, they played as tens. They, they, it, well, Vieira didn't play as a ten, but when you saw him doing triple lollipops over people's heads, you were yeah. like, yeah, he could play as a ten. He got goals, he got assists, he was a captain. You know, like, the, in terms of what Arsenal like are crowning achievement, and in terms of being, he won a Premier League in his second season. We were the first team to show the world that Fergie could bleed. 
Yeah. <laughs> End off. Yeah. Well, no, it's okay. like, so people, people, people like, oh, he didn't win a Champions League though. And it's like, look, that guy, when you when you watch him, like as, as a midfielder, a central one, there's nothing he couldn't do. There's, there's well, no, 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 Vieira was this is for me. For me, it was close between Vieira and Jarrett. Is like because it was close, but the reason why I Vera who did you pick again? Kante. So it was Vera scores Kante. Because for me, Kante for me is already all time in his position. So he like for what he does as an interception and just holding yeah, yeah. that spot. That's, why, that's why I put Kante in. Scholes, technically speaking, one of England's most technically gifted midfielders in a like long time. So he's going to be there in terms of keeping the ball and be able to control the midfield. So it was really between Vieira and Gerard. And the reason why I went to the Vieira is that I just think that overall, footballing wise, Vieira was the better footballer. I respect Gerard for. Than Gerard. His, yeah. Yeah, Vieira yeah. better than Gerard. Yes. As a footballer. Yes. Mm, no, nah, that's Gerard, where. Gerard's that's where. Yeah, nah. I think Gerard's all round game is better than Vieira. Yeah. I, I re- Vieira's in my list. I'd, 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 Vieira's goes. I Vieira, Vieira could, could do things with the ball more. I, like, we just look at what Vieira could do on the ball. With with the ball, like what passing or like but Gerard, dribbling, was, passing, Gerard, Gerard the ball, balance. Gerard's a better passer than Vieira. Yeah, like Gerard, they both Gerard, Gerard, could do everything. That's Gerard, the scary Gerard, thing about Gerard can dribble. Yeah. What? Gerard, Gerard can dribble. Yeah. Gerard dribble, guys. I'm <laughs> sure <laughs> he's he's Gerard dribble. He can shoot. He can tackle. Gerard can dribble. So you've never seen him drive from midfield for twenty yards. I said and a dribble. I yeah. said skill, technique. Nah. I'm, I'm, so right, let me just get down. So how many views has scored so far? Yeah, I, I three. So three have said Skulls. Yeah. How many have said Vieira? I did. So three. So Skulls. I mean, Skulls and Vieira are in then. Yeah. yeah. So in the team as it stands right now. Um, so Skulls and Vieira. Why is Vieira not? Oh, there he is. I found him. So Skulls and Vieira are in. Um, this is one place. It's Engado Kante. Uh, and then, okay, but no one said. Wait, who did you? No I said one, Kante. You've said Kante. I said Kante. You've said two Kantes in there as well. And two, two I said, I said, Vieira, Gerard, Skulls. Yeah. Okay. That, that was my free. Yeah. Lampard, Gerard, Kante. Stop this Lampard. So it's a mixture of all. Uh, uh, so Lampard. So one sec, guys. So no one thinks Fabregas should be anywhere in this conversation. You got Lamp. No one's voting for Lampard yet, though. No, I did. You one Lampard vote so far, and you got. It's interesting. Look, Yaya Torre. All these guys were on the list, but they didn't get voted in. There has already been, though. I want to say this. So. um David, who put the ten pound in, wants the ten pound straight away on Gerard. Yes, so Gerard in okay, from that point of view. I want to make this clear: if you're going to put bids in, if you want to say you put a bid in, but you and you want to put a different player in, or you want to play, ex- express who you want out, but to get Gerard out, it's going to cost you eleven pounds to get that done. That's already in and over the line as it stands right now. So the Gerard yeah. cut his goals. What, one second here. Uh, Stevie had a little bit. Of Skulls, Yaya, Lampe, and Vieira. Skulls, Lamp. Lampard can't defend. Lamps could defend. Yaya, um, no engine. Yeah, Vieira, no engine. goals. Stevie G had it's better moments, we remember, in. is what Mass has got to say there. That's kind of facts to him, on goals, though. <laughs> Yaya, you know what I mean? Yaya was a box yes, to box. Yes. Like <laughs> one of the best box to boxes. That's a weird, weird comment. People people forget a... Lampard was making on average a high number of interceptions and tackles per game yeah. as well. He was winning the and, ball and, high up the pitch yeah. and he was dropping deep as well. So I, I think I, I think as, I think as well when it comes to um I think as well when it comes to skulls, people kind of say he can't defend because he had a, them late tackles. Read his book and listen to him talk. He did that on purpose. He did that to like not break legs, but he did it to like rough people wow, up. Yeah, he bad. wasn't a bad tackler. He did that on purpose. It's almost like the guy could do everything. Someone here said they missed a super chat. I can't see a super chat that we missed on here. We'll get Javern to scroll, scroll back up. Or what's this one here? No, we haven't missed any super chats as it stands right now. Now, Grey Wolf Dinner, I don't quite know what you're saying here. I get what your point is, but I don't know what you're asking us to do. If you want something to move, change, put turn around, you have to instruct us because that doesn't. Oh, you want Lampard in, then who comes out? Leave us another comment. You don't have to super chat to let us know. You need to give me direction so I don't make a mistake. Someone says, no, Hazard. Eden Hazard is not part of the midfield group. He's part of the attackers. Yeah, it's not so he's not in the midfield group. <laughs> so don't worry, that worry is not coming. Mate, that's not, so no, as it no, stands no, no, right no, now, people, the, the team as it looks right now is, as you can see, in the midfield is... Gerard. it's going to take £16 to get him out. Ooh, Skulls damn. is in there. Vieira is in there. The countdown clock is going to start now, people. We're going to go into the, the five minutes on this before we move to the fours, which is going to be a long conversation. But that is as it stands right now. Grey Wolf dinner. Oh, he wants Lampard in, Gerard out. So that Ooh. takes. So that doesn't take Gerard out yet, though, because Gerard's got 15 pounds on him. So that, okay. that takes five pounds off. 
in with Lampard going on to having five pounds on him. So it's going to take a bit more to get that done. But I obviously know he wants him out. So 11 pounds to get him out um, as it stands right now. That's where you want to put your money, Grey Wolf Dinner. So thank you. But that's the midfield. Um, I mean, it's such it's such so a good hard. mid. I mean, that midfield, tough, though, that midfield, though, tough, that midfield if you have tough. like Vieira sitting... Skulls and Gerrard kind of either side as eights in a three. Mm. Like in, 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 in their pumps, you dictate play, you're powerful, you can run, you Someone can tackle, oh, you oh, can oh, score, oh. create. That no, midfield no, no, would no, be no, unstoppable. But, but guys are sleeping on what Kante is, bro. No, relax with Kante. 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 Yeah, I, I, I would have had Kante. That guy single-handedly won a Champions League yeah. for Chelsea. Pretty, pretty no, much, bro. not by single-handedly. No, he, was like, a, he, he was a important. Important. He was, he was who was the man of the match in both semis okay, and the but, final. But, but 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 let's let's just let's not forget the the Rudiger, Thiago Silva, yeah. Yeah. Mendy, Kai Havertz, yeah. coming Kai Havertz, 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 Kai Havertz uh, yeah, you, Jorginho, yeah, you had the lot of clutch took players in your manager. Yeah. I, I know that I know that Kane was was a very very huge and instrumental to that. I hear a lot and of Chelsea fans saying this though, but it's like listen, like you know when Istanbul, for example, if you contrast that, yeah, like. And you look at the players that Gerard had to grab by the scruff of the neck and be like, yeah, you are winning Gerard this in, Champions man, League. Man, like, I don't care if you know that you're not good enough. You're winning it. Yeah. Whereas Kane didn't drag anyone. Like Kane performed very well, but he had players around him that allowed him to do that as well. And a manager Chelsea who, have super yeah, high class players. Yeah, young got, players, good not players. You know, like, yeah, like, I'm, also, also, I'm not taking away anything from Kane. I love Kane. Well. You know winning I mean? the Premier League like, with Leicester City. Yeah, in the Premier League with Chelsea. Of course, of course. Hey, what currency is I've that? I've got the highest respect for Kane. I don't know what currency that is. <laughs> <laughs> is that, is that so what does the start of it say? Liverpool? So he, like... say, he says put, put Lampard in. Nah, man. But I don't know how much I don't know how much that is. <laughs> I don't, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 try, I'm trying to search it. I'm literally trying to search yeah. it now online. I can't find it. What the hell is Kane is a pressing merchant to my left? More on oh. Stevie G. <laughs> do you reckon there's another two pounds? I never hey, one pound on. seventy. Yes, that puts yeah, that, that too puts, many red cards, liability. That puts him up to one like it's gonna pay you cost twelve pounds or more to get him out. Hang on a minute here. Lampard in, take Gerard out. Wow. It's been done. The, 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 the debate has started. The debate has started. Wow, look at that. And there we go. He's got that's been done uh, with a minute or so to go. So he goes out. Lampard Jeez. goes into the mix uh, as it stands right now. So just to let you know, so that Lampard already had five, so that puts Lampard on 18. So that's going to cost, if you want Gerard back in, it's going to cost uh, seven pounds or more. That's the difference between hey, the two. Scousers. Come on, man. There we, there we go. There we go. I'm 100 just... Indian rupee equals 19 <laughs> euro, apparently. Okay. How much? I think someone put it in the comment there. 100 Indian rupee equals 19 euro. One point. Oh, equals one one point nineteen, you know. Oh, one point. So one nine one. So that's us. Yeah, that's there us. we go. Yeah. I don't know how much. It, yeah. So. Couple of quid. Yeah, only a few bits. Only a few bits on there. Terry, one hundred rupee. Oh, it's about a pound. Wow, seventeen ninety nine. Jeez. Oh, Lampard. Wait, and, wait, why has he got Arsenal clock in and he's putting Lampard in? <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Wait, left of that. Get off. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. Vieira's in, though. Vieira's in, though, right? Yeah, I'm surprised none of the two. I'm not even going to say that. Seven on the next season. 23. 33. So that means if you want, I don't know, again, this is rupees again. So that's about another two pound. Um, what's it saying here? What's this saying here? What's this? Yes, please. Yeah, add that on for us, mate. Thank you. Uh, Fabregas alongside Vieira and Scholes. Um, Fab, had Fab had better technique than everyone. Fab could do anything. So do you want him in? I mean, you have to tell us who you want out. You can't take out Lampard. So Vera, you want Vieira and Scholes in, but you put that... I don't, that might just be a, a comment. Uh, you haven't given us any instruction on that, my friend. But yeah, that means right now Lampard is on £33. So for Lampard to get out, it's going to cost you £34. Wow. If you want Gerrard oh, back oh, in oh, over Lampard, this, though, this it's going to... Sorry, mate, let me just finish it. It's going to cost you £22 to get it done. Che I mean, I, I was going to say Chelsea fans have stepped up. That was a gooner that did it. Hey, listen, I don't want to see you on the clock end. 
Yeah. <laughs> Let me this see your face yeah, at the next home land. game. Yeah. Another, five, <laughs> another five dollars there in for yeah, Lampard. That makes yeah. it even bigger there. That's 30. Oh, he's already in the lead. Man. Five oh, more Lord. pounds for Gerard that's gone in there. That puts Gerard yeah, up to I'm around I'll, that puts Gerard up to like 16 pounds, but he's a long way behind him. 16 pounds versus wallet. 38. 16 pounds versus 38 as we go into this last little countdown. The crazy thing is you can tell it like Chelsea fans just want Gerard out. Yeah. They could have taken out Scott or Vieira and they haven't. They just want Gerard. I mean, like we're we're like a London rival. Yeah, like, but they're like, no, I've done this. It's just Gerard Lampard thing. It's just, no, I'm happy I've got Gerard yeah. Lampard in. They were, I, I had Gerard Lampard. Kante. Yeah, was it Kante? Yeah, so I'm, I'm all right with two of them, and I'm all right. It's ticking down now. I mean, the full controversial, but I think Makaleli was better than Kante. Than Kante, really? yeah, yeah, yeah. I just think what Kante oh. did at Leicester. Ooh. Kante can Leicester, what Makaleli yeah. do and run more. What Kante what, did at Leicester what, 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 as well. That's what, what, unrivaled. Do you know what I mean? Like, that oh, I see I the hear the ball. And also, you look is, at the front. It's better than the front. Like, Makaleli only, only just stands. Like, Kante can do what Makaleli did. Interceptions, oh, no, Makale... reading the game. And Kante can actually do oh. soft with, with the ball going forward. Makale... What he did. So, actually, Makale... Kante is Makale... like Makale... an advanced Makale... version of Makale... Makale... Like, Makaleli played in a box-to-box mode as well. And then, like, if you think, like, Kante has even said the players he idolised when he was growing up was Makaleli and Boy, Vieira. We've had one come in here saying Gerard for skulls. They put the they put the money in right. on Gerard, so that puts Gerard up to twenty uh, yeah, pounds there, and he's Gerard. in for Paul Skulls. Uh, Kante and Vieira out at yeah. the end. Whoa, 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 Start whoa, that whoa, minute whoa, over. Whoa, we've had whoa, out with that outbids come in, That's so whoa. he's Man. out. Wow. Skulls is out, and that puts Gerard back in. I've got to find Gerard again now. Oh, Vieira out. The, yes, Vieira out. I'm just Wait, where's, where's my Gunners, man? Oh, wow, 50 Where's my Gunners, man? Guys, Wait. one second, guys. Let me catch up, please, for a second here. I'm just, I've lost. Oh, I've just seen that. I've just Gerard's seen that. come back in. So what did the previous one want oh, out Lord. here? So what we wanted here was Kante in Vieira out. So that puts wow. two pounds on Kante as an example. So Kante is going to take two pounds to get him out. Gerard has had 50 pounds. Uh, sorry, how much? 50 pounds put, uh, puts him up to 70 pounds there. That is Gerard is in. That is Gerard in at 70 pounds. That's going to be very hard to move him. Mm. Lampard is in. Kante is in. And there's very little that can be done as we go into the last minute or so of this. Liverpool fans stepping up tonight. Back in Steve well, like and Gerrard in well, this where, where, Where's my Arsenal fans, man? Don't disappoint me, <laughs> man. There's no Paul man. Scholes. Yeah, has got to get in there. see that my midfield has come in. <laughs> exactly what I call. I like it. I like it. I like it. So what we what we what we said the other day to be fair is because obviously people are like donating to the football terrace and they may want to outdo is we add a minute on once a player gets knocked off his top spot if he does to allow somebody else to, to buzz buzz back in there. Oh Kante in as an example. That is why Kante in for Vieira. So is that say like, does that mean Kante out Vieira in? Oh, I don't know what that yeah, means. Yeah, that I, mean? I think yeah, I mean, it means Vieira in. I think, I think, I think he's Vieira subbing Vieira on. Yeah. Yeah. So Vieira because that was that's like a sub, yes. Yeah. So he's yeah. subbing no, no, Vieira he's, in. He's subbing Kante on. No, no, no he's so subbing Vieira in, brother. Kante he's already on the pitch to the left. In here, that's a, a total that Get. takes his price off, and that is seven. That is seven on Vieira. Seven on Vieira. Vieira. Whoa. Seven on Vieira. Vieira. Whoa. So you need eight quid for Kante then. As it stands, well, well it's it's eight quid for somebody else. Kante would oh, be okay, yeah, six. Would. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. It's a fairly complex yeah. metric when, when you do it on a bidding <laughs> process. Uh, Lampard scored against Chelsea more than Steven Gerrard did, is what Maths has got to say here. Uh, in, in relation to that, as we go down to the final minute, as we count again, ooh, ooh, ooh. This is getting interesting. someone says, Nah, that was for Kante. Samuel, let me know. What do you mean, Nah, man? Oh, no, Kante in. He meant Kante in. Yeah. Oh, Sorry, oh, we, we misinterpreted it. Wait, so, listen, and it was so that's changed. I'm Kante, telling you, Kante boy. in. Sorry, brother. Sorry, brother. That's done. That's done, as you yeah, can Kante's see. Kante's in, then. Listen, that done. means it's going to take 12 pounds to get Kante out, 70 pounds to get Gerard out. And thirty-eight pounds. Arsenal fans, pounds. Wait, how much get Gerard out? Seventy. Get my goal captain what? back in then right now, unless, man. Unless, unless someone again, it's yeah, it's gonna cost seven. Because that's the total amount on his name. That's a total that amount on his name. That's a total amount on his name. Gerard is locked in, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, captain, Gerard, fantastic. Gerard and, and, and Lamps are locked in. <laughs> We've got not long left to go now. Fifteen seconds. Fourteen. Thirteen. <laughs> 
10. So what's the midfield? Lampard, right. Gerard, Kante? Yeah. Yeah. That's, 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 what, I that's what I call it. That's what I call it. What I call it. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, but I know you're going to say it now. You're throwing it. That's all I see. That is fine. All right, let's go. Let's cancel it out there. Cancel it out. He put Stevie G for good measure. Stevie G was already in, but he did it there. Yes, I called it. Yes, calm. Oh, my God. an example there. I just want to say again very quickly to all the new people that watch the Terrace, maybe you haven't seen us do these shows before. This is fun between us and our members, us and our viewers, people that donate on a very regular basis to the football terrace. That's all Super Chats are. They're donations like a Just Giving page or, you know, like people have Patreon and stuff. It's, it's just YouTube's version. That's all it is. People are free to do with it as they want. It's just our viewers having a bit of fun there. Get Kante out. Uh, listen, ah, Mr. Mr. C, you can Definitely comment. not better you can, Mr. C, you can no comment way. again and without not. paying... One yeah. second, guys. You guys, you want to yeah. address people? Guys, 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 guys. Um, you can comment again without doing a super chat and you can move that onto the forward section that we're moving on to next, my friend, because you did miss the, the, the cutoff point on that one, my friend. Hang on a minute. People are telling me there's Big Ten hog news. So I'm taking a break from doing this right now. Let me just search. You know what people are saying? Hang on. Ten hog from what I am told, even in interview Man United, want to make sure... Da, 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 da. Hang on. Sorry, peeps. I've got to... Big Ten hog news, where? Hang on. I've spoken to Ten Hag, Richard Pochettino. No, 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 no. Go to Fab. One sec, boys. I need to read. This is better, more important than anything. <laughs> man United are expected to carry a second and final round of interviews before appointing the manager. Oh, fucking oh, you, man. Cool. Why do you, man, long stuff out? Oh, so my much, God. Like... Debra. My... Debra. How oh, behind are you, Debra? Hey, how much? Hey. Hey. $100 on on. Come on. I, I want to give you an example about Super Chat. So Debra, one, one sec, bro. I want to give you an example. Debra has a bet with me every Man United game. If I don't mention Cristiano Ronaldo's name, she'll donate $1,000 to the football terrace. The problem oh. is, I've never been able to not mention your name. <laughs> so that's, 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 that's the football terrace hey, community. Debra, big up yourself. Big now, up Debra. Now, Debra, again, we will pass that on to the next section for you because you were, I don't know how far behind you are. Watch it live. Watch it live. We'll move it on to the next Debra, section. Debra, 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 two game. words for you. Mo Salah, yeah? <laughs> save, save your money for him. Because there's going to be disrespect. Maybe that's what Deb is doing. You there's going to be disrespect. I know how folks are going to talk about Hazard and that. Just save it. So yeah? we're moving save on it. to the forward section now. So the forward section is going to be an interesting one because the forward section has got so many players in it because it's forwards and wingers together. Mm. So many players. So we have one. Ryan Giggs. We have no. There's three positions. Oh, so, no, no, so, no, so, 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 so yeah. So there's Ryan Giggs. Oh, yeah, there's right. David Beckham. There's Ronaldo. Gareth Bale. Eden Hazard. Mo Salah. Omri. Drogba. Cantona. Sergio Aguero. Alan Shearer. And Wayne Rooney. Those are the individuals that you can choose from and that you can pick from. It's very simple. I'm gonna put. I was. I'm gonna put on my three nine fingers. No arguments. Omri is a striker. We agree. Yeah. Yeah. On the right. You've got to say my my goats, Godnaldo, Cristiano. <clears throat> On the left, one of the best players the Premier League has ever seen. People said he's top three all time in the Premier League history. Eden Hazard. What? Which, what? Hazard. Which, what? Sorry, which people Hazard. say that? Which nah, people nah, say nah, that? Nah, <laughs> I didn't stop that. I did not <laughs> stop that. Said, Hazard, <laughs> Henri, Cristiano. That is the three. Henri and Ronaldo, definitely. Hazard. Mm, I don't know. Who else can, can go on that left? This is this is remember this is for. Do we three, have three. to do we have to put him on the left or do we just put in who we feel is the better striker or better forward? I don't think I don't think we need to stick over because we didn't do that in midfield. We didn't say one's going to be the exactly. DM left that's and right. It, we just it, picked yeah. them. So we just pick it. If we just pick it three, then it's got ugh, it's got to be Rooney. Henry. No, if it just it doesn't matter about position, Rooney. But Rooney Henry. can play anywhere. Yeah, Rooney, Henri, Salah, done, sorted. <laughs> like what? Like, this, this is tough. tough. Well, one isn't tough. Henri is just. Do we all agree Omri's a striker? We yeah, all, we all agree. Think, yeah, we all agree Omri's um, Omri's Omri's in there. I mean, right? If you were gonna like wrong, it's for me. Ronaldo's it's Omri, Rooney, Ronaldo. Yeah, no, 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 no. Do you know? Do you know why I put Ronaldo? Listen, Hazard can dribble better than uh, Rooney ever will be able to. Rooney could play left, right, ten striker, outscore, outcreate, and do any. And literally, the what only legacy thing, does he have? What legacy? What Hazard leg has a better mad? legacy than thing. People will remember what Hazard did more in the Premier League than Rooney. Say that again, please. People will remember what Hazard did as a player more than Rooney. And that is a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. Premier League goal in 16. 
Barcelona what, taking him and the Man United derby. As an individual. Before he gets Newcastle. He was always a side chick. What are you talking about? I was a side chick with Van I was sat there chilling, watching the best Arsenal team I've ever seen in my life. And this this teenager that looked like Shrek comes on. He's 16 years old. I'm like, who's oh, this guy? Yeah. Five, five minutes later. One moment. What do you mean? You said what moment? moment? You said what moment? The name and moment. His debut in the Premier League. Bicycle against kick against Manchester Arsenal Derby. The best English team at that time. And this guy went, I'm sorry, who are you? At 16. Ro- Rooney can Slack. see Hazard. He got a hat trick on his Champions League see, debut. No, Ro- Everyone can see Hazard. Rooney can't see Hazard. Rooney can't see Hazard. Rooney can't see Hazard if, he, if you're talking about dribbling. That's the only No, 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 no don't do that. That's the don't, only don't do that. Don't do that. Let me finish, let me finish. The only attribute Eden Hazard has over Rooney is his dribbling ability. When it comes to passing, crossing, touch, goal scoring ability, using his head, left foot, right foot, playing from deep, playing in every position in the front line, Facts. Rooney is clearing him in every Did area. Really I'm, not saying, I'm not saying Hazard mean, had, had no help. I'm just saying that that's time, nonsense. That Hazard had no help. Do you know, that's point. not one sec, mate. That's and that, that's nonsense. That Hazard had no help. Because Hazard, Hazard, team. Hazard won Premier Leagues with players in his team like Diago Costa, Fabregas, John Terry that you said is a goat centre back. Check Mourinho's Check. second Check. season. No, 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 sorry. Mourinho's second stint when he yeah. won the league. Last part of that season. You um, um, has, like, like Hazard literally was carrying that that, 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 that team. And my point that I'm making is no, that... I'm sorry to interject. People, you're lying. You're, you're lying. History a little bit you're, you're you're beyond the writing history. You know, Hazard, man. you know it. You're I right. don't know. I'm not, Hazard's not even making my bench. I'm not, Hazard, I'm not even joking. No, 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 no. Don't disrespect Hazard. He's not making my bench. He's not making my bench. He doesn't make the bench. He's not making my bench. Come on, that's mad. That's making my bench. If we think about these attackers... Hang on. If we're thinking... Look at the list of the attackers. Look at the attackers up there, right? Like, for me... I'm picking Mo Salah to be in my team and squad over Eden Hazard. Thank you. Every single day of the week. So even Bale. I'm picking because, Bale ahead of Hazard. Because you know, one, well, one yeah. thing they both no. have, no, one thing they both have no. over Hazard is they will score and create, their, their outputs were higher. And by the way, when you're looking at all those players on that list, I don't want to hear about ability because they all are in the top echelon of ability. How you separate all those players is by consistency, longevity, and output. <coughs> it's the yeah, only but, way. No, but the, the thing is, what people look at is what happened to Hazard after he left Chelsea. But what you need to remember is this guy at Lille, as a teenager, he come in, he come in in like the no, like October, November, and he won Young Player of the Season, having only played like half a season. He then did it again the next season. The numbers and the things he was doing at Lille was mad. Like he he did a lot at Lille. Like, did really win players? He's, he's had the longevity yes. in his career. But, and young player of the year. But, but younger. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, that he, he did, he did. Like I, I get your point on there. So in terms of us placing this before we put it out to the audience yeah. to do, so we all said that Omri's gotta be in there. Yeah, 100 percent I think Rooney's a shooting. Rooney's a sure. I mean, no, he's not, no, he's I, not. I thought you were gonna like you were gonna like maybe fight for Mo Salah. I'm gonna I'm I'm putting Salah in as well, but I think I'm going Rooney, Henri, Salah. But I think Salah over CR7 at his pomp. Yeah. You but think you think you think I'd do that. Let me just no. make sure I'm saying this. Ronaldo right. you, not being in that is a wrong one. One sec, mate. So you 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 think that Mo Salah is better than Cristiano Ronaldo in his Premier League era? I think what we what we what we get confused is that. Ronaldo went on and done a madness at Madrid and went on to be... He, his GOAT status was solidified at Madrid. In the Prem, his last two seasons at United were sensational. However, I do think his Premier League legacy is slightly... Uh, we, we put a bit too much respect on it because we think about the Madrid stuff too much. I think if we're talking, if we're talking Premier League to Premier League... I think Salah's on his way. No, 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 Salah's no, no, on his no, way no, to no, do this thing. Focus on the Premier League. Yeah, no, no, no. At 22. No, no, no. Focus on the Premier League. Ignore Real Madrid. Yeah, yeah. He won a Ballon d'Or. People look, I, I am a fully registered card mem- member of the Cristiano hating society. Yeah. And I've said that <laughs> Cristiano, Man United, Hands up. That guy was, was an he incredible was player. Salah's on his so, way to, to having a better Premier League. Salah hasn't watched what Cristiano did for United. No, he's not. No. One more, pre- Wait, what? So he's no. got like three, three no. golden boots and a Premier League. Three, 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 one, one, one thing I'd say though about, about the, the last one, he won the, the league and the champions. The, the thing I'd say about your argument though is you've sort of mentioned Trent, Trent sort of three to four seasons in, yeah, yeah, uh, as in like being at this level and he's the greatest ever. Ronaldo's had that, 
Like, I, like and and Ronaldo won. But there's, one there's, more, I think mean, there's less. There's less, the there's less competition when we're talking about when we're talking about right backs. It's, it's Trent or Neville, really. No, I, I, under, but, I understand there's, that. There's, I, under, that list I, I, I do Bale understand that. Bale as well deserves a shout. It's not even been mentioned. Like, but, Ryan yeah. Giggs, yeah. Shout, that, there's, there's 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 a whole load of players that deserve a shout. But I think for what I've seen Salah doing a prem. Record goal scorer in a single Premier League season as well. Like, Guys, we've got a message here face. from McDonald's that have said, Hazard is our ambassador. Have some respect. Hazard <laughs> elevated the fast food business on his belly. Oh. Oh. Have hope no good. Hazard uh, knows see. McDonald's effect there. Man, man. Man's, get, man's get actually going to change their account to McDonald's official. Get lost. Get lost. You, killed, you killed it. Hazard was one of my favourite players to watch. I do get that. In terms of the, in terms of other players that are on this list, I mean, I'm not. He's in. He was on the list for a reason, but I'm not making any arguments for Ryan Giggs tonight for for obvious reasons. Yeah. <laughs> David Beckham, look, Beckham was great, but he can't touch Ronaldo uh, for one on that side yeah. there. Um, Alan Shearer, I, I name, I, I'm going to put Alan Shearer aside for a minute. No arguments for Aguero or Drogba. No, no. we were talking about Drogba earlier, wasn't it? off not, camera. Not Drogba. Like, he wasn't. He wasn't. <laughs> No, he Drogba was just a big clutch game moments. player. Yeah, yeah. Big Drogba was immense, but you got to you got to consider it. there was only two seasons where he got more than twenty. Oh, no. I Man had like eight goals. Yeah, yeah. eight goals, nine goals. That is, yeah. Have a, am I like in his best life. season? He got like thirty nine goals. He had single digit goals. seasons. Played like every game as well. Like, every game. A good player, but look, the guys, the guys that are on that list. We're talking like they were bagsmen for like three, four, five seasons. Henri, five seasons, right? Four of them, he was top goal scorer. Which is a record, yeah, for Golden Boots. Three of them he did in a row. The one year where he wasn't the top goal scorer was when he did the assist record and got twenty goals. So which no, made him, yeah, I'm, which I'm, made him the only striker to yeah, get he's, twenty he's or not, attacking any player yeah, yeah, no, no, to no, get no, twenty no. plus goals and twenty there. assists. On there, there, you know, there's like, no arguments so against like when, you, when when Drog was trying to chat to that man, or like when certain man are like trying to put, it's like no. Like, what what did Henri do in the 06 UCL final? Well, let, yeah, no, but, like, do, but, but the it. thing is, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I mean, like, I know what a guy did in 2012. <laughs> in, in back, 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 yeah. Do you know what I think about Aguero though? On a real level, I think if Aguero played for Arsenal, Chelsea, or Man United, or Liverpool, mm. I think this. Con I've always felt with Aguero, it's a bit like the polls that went out earlier today. If Man City had a big, and it's no disrespect, if they had a bigger global fan base, yeah, yeah, yeah. they have more players you know than win these votes. You know what it is with Aguero as well. Granted, he's got the most memorable goal in Premier League mm. in, in, or ever, yeah. And he's a. We all say he's a certified, yeah, certified, no, certified. Aguero is, but. He never yeah. had. I never had the standout season when he was like, "Oh my god, you're the guy." He was around the same time as like, you're not with, not so much honorees, but he's there with Rooney's other players as well who had their standout seasons. I don't think Aguero ever had that season where you're like, "You are the best striker." I, I think he suffered injury, well, I, injury, isn't it? Well, yeah. I also think as well he suffered with very much what most Salah's just coming out of now. He wasn't the poster boy of City. City yeah. had other players, the Yar Yars, I think David Silver was another example. There was two or three players within their team, Vincent Company, oh, yeah. who were sort of the, the fan favourites. And like at Liverpool, I've always thought Mo Salah was your best player, but Van Dijk, Trent, He's Mane, the the Matt, yeah, it was all, they, they were the poster boys. And when you're not the poster boy, it's hard for you to win. Because again, when it comes to players of the years, Ballon d'Ors, who everyone sees the go, it's a popularity. One thing that helps Henri, take, just take away for one He's moment. Yeah, he does, and everyone, everyone, Omri is one of those players that you never find anyone who doesn't like. Yeah, but do you know what it they is? They like Henry? him, his personality, he was, his charisma, he was, everything. He was seen as the only, or part of the team of the only ones who could stop United. Yes, so he, he for me as a Liverpool yes, fan, yeah. he's the only guy I could look at. To, I could be like, all right, you can stop. No, no, no. It's no, like no. the enemy of my enemy. Yeah, no, I get I'm that. Like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. Go and do your thing. But no one else. Let's, let's finalize our three. So we've all got Omri on there. <laughs> how many of the of, of, are we picking Ronaldo? One hundred and fifty. Yeah. So Ronaldo's in there, and how many are picking Rooney? I'm picking. No, 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 no. Yeah, actually, yeah. Well, now, yeah. Rooney. Then there's Rooney. There's I know Salah, four of us picking Hazard. You know, I could swap. I could swap so Ronaldo tough, for Rooney. You know. So, so, <laughs> so, 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 so <laughs> Terry, so 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 put in. So it's Henri, Ronaldo, Hazard. Just no, 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 uh, so I want to. If we can start the countdown uh, as we say this. So look, Rooney can be in there. However, I, I tell you, I tell you this to watch. Slow, slow yourself down. Have hope. <laughs> Twenty-five pounds collectively has already been put in for Eden Hazard. Oh, wow. So Eden Hazard goes straight into the team and Rooney out. So it's Yo, going to cost Deborah. £25 or more for that. Now, I want to point this out that Deborah has $100 that she can put on anybody she Deborah, wants to put it on. Deborah, don't. Deborah, put it on bail. So 
That can be put in there. <laughs> there, there is also... I, I sorry, need a sorry guys, one second, please, guys, just so I can get this all out. There's also someone that put... Um, Mr. C that put in five pounds but missed the cut-off point, so he can put that on somebody as well. Let us know who you want that on. There's five minutes to get your... Um, your, your, your bids in as it were we'll keep an eye out if you guys see it before I do because I'm, I'm kind of doing two or three things at once shout out who those people want it on let me know who you want in the team but Hazard it's going to cost £25 to get him out Chelsea fans are backing Chelsea their players man. tonight Debra, bail 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 I need, I need some Spurs kind of representation <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling out here <laughs> I'm struggling <laughs> Was Harry Kane in, in the conversation at all? Or? He was in the list. Hang on, have hope. Oh. I've got you. Put this on Hazard. Oh, wow. 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 Look at that. I mean, what is... I just want to do a double Hazard check what, what that is in... What that is in... Um, is that dollars? That Canadian, Canadian dollars. dollars. Canadian just want to check what that is in, <laughs> in pounds there because obviously conversion rate 30. So that's another 18 pounds wow. uh, on top for him. So, that's so how much do you now need? One second. Let's uh, just count for a second. That's 32. 42 pounds to get wow. Eden Hazard <laughs> out. <laughs> Another, another one. Let's have a, so we'll put that up to like 44. We'll just say 44 pound there. We'll round that up a little bit. Hazard is getting backed tonight on the football Hazard terrace. He like, really, really Hazard is. Typical Leave us. Let's live. I would have put Aguero in over Hazard, though. Yeah, would, you wouldn't do that. I would. I would. You wouldn't. Aguero, who all them goals. You would. You would go to sleep ashamed of yourself. The most nah, memorable, the yeah. most memorable goal in Premier League yeah. history. Ever, 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 just the ever first, the first league title for City in like forty-four years. So? Yeah, I know. But you got to think of that as like the catalyst. Like you, for for Chelsea, yeah, you got the 4 5 season, yeah, where that was your first league title in forty-nine years, okay. yeah, and you got to think of that as like the 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 start of like the snowball like yeah, yeah wow you know, like, one, when you one actually moment. realize that you know but it's the moment it's the mo it's the moment uh, salad is this was this hazard it's the hazard. moment the kick started everything. hazard what, is a sitter what currency is that? i don't know uh, it's i'm gonna do it now <laughs> not and okay i'm gonna do it here Guys, it looks like a lot yes, i want to say yeah, i am proud like, of my hazardous that's man I am proud of you guys. You've done me. You've done us proud. That's 20, FC. That's 21 pounds there. So that puts it up now to 65. 65 pounds to get Ooh, Eden Hazard out. I know what game oh. she's playing. Is Deborah waiting? Is she playing along it? Listen, Deborah, 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 don't do she's South. Don't, no, don't. If, not too yeah. late. Not too Deborah's late. Hang on, guys. There's another two pounds there. If, sorry, but if Hold Prime up. Hazard played uh, with, with now Salah, Salah would have scored double the goals he has now. Facts. 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 Yeah. You know it as well, Hapo. Go on. What, what can you, you can't say anything. You can't say anything. <laughs> wow. Yeah, come on, bail. Still waiting, man. Still waiting there, this, is, still this waiting. just shows you that Hazard is still that guy. P there's still love for, for Hazard. Of course there the is. The eye man. test is undefeated, man. The eye test is undefeated, <laughs> man. You know, the eye test is undefeated. Because people... Uh, look at Ronaldinho now. I know. I, res I respect the goals and everything. People have a close affection to players that make you feel a certain way. And Hazard... Just has that sauce that Rooney just never had. <laughs> Who's the thing Rooney now? The guy's Rooney. forgotten. Rooney just doesn't have the same kind of je ne sais quoi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're disrespectful. What's this Burger King? <laughs> just, you know I'm right. Man. Burger you know King right. officially right. changed it over there. There we go. He's, He's back in. Hang on a minute. Put forty pound on Drogba in. What? Wow for clutch. Wow. wow. And then what else Chelsea do you want? An extra twenty on Eden Hazard. Dexter ah! is backing him. Who's Dexter is backing him. Wow. <laughs> so so who do you want out for Drogba? Yeah. Who do you want out for Drogba? That's what I need to know right uh, now, my is friend. Is this what we're doing, Dexter? <laughs> Is this, is this what we're doing? So it's fifty. It's going to cost 50, eighty-five pounds to get Eden Hazard out of this as it stands right Bro, now. I'm going to retweet Sorry. this list so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so all that Hazard Bear haters, Chelsea, man. Bear yeah, Chelsea, oh, mad, mad. Eighty-five pounds. Let's feet, live, Lampard. But the thing is, they weren't in the convo originally. Oh, they've just they bought their way. Oh, like, Chelsea, you've yeah. 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 bought your way into into the conversation. Don't do that. Don't do that. Mad. Does that, does that get on me out? We'll be uh, saying here, drug another 10 on Drogba oh, here. Drogba here, here with 50. Drogba here with 50. Chelsea fans are going for it. Oh, Rooney in. Henri out. Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> 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 well, he's, he's, he's not on this. He's not on this. He's not on this. He's not on this. He's an op. He's an op. He's an op. He's a minute back on, please. A minute back on, please. I need to change some things over. So it's Ronaldo out. Drogba in. Wow, what? Henri oh. out. 
Rooney no, in no, with a minute or so to go now. This just to, let, to make this, Rooney just, so pounds. Rooney is it's going to cost eighteen pounds to get Wayne Rooney out. It's going to cost eighty-five pounds to get Hazard out, right. and it's going to cost fifty pounds has to get Drogba out. I'm begging you, get Rooney out. Of, someone has twenty quid, man. If this is the, this will be the best twenty pounds you've ever spent. Get that get 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 <laughs> Shrek the hell out of there. Bro. Come on, guys, man. Support the support the, 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 the tariff and get. Where's all the Arsenal fans at, man? Get Henri back on the stage, man. This is his stage. Well, Henri yeah? not making it. Because Loki you know, came in last minute. Loki, no, like, no, 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 that's mad. If it's already to the pick. I know. I know. Don't put over Henri. That's. I know drug bar, more on drug bar, more for drug bar. Yeah, yeah. Where's it come from? Man? I know where is it? no one's <laughs> speaking about him. It's, che- it's, Chelsea, it's Chelsea fans. It's Chelsea, Chelsea fans. Didn't even mention it. Look, man. <laughs> That's 64. I mean, we're going to the final minute. Bro, this is mad. Wow, man. Hazard and drug bar. I'm that an Arsenal great. fan, and Rooney was better than Henri. I just saw a comment. No, 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 I don't get that one. Oh, More for Rooney. Oh. More for Rooney. Oh, Arsenal clock end again. Uh, in one, you know, that's another five, so that's 23. Oh. oh. Rooney is the man. That's 20. That's really. Uh, that's yeah. it. That's 44 to get him out. That's 44 to get Some, him out. Come on, Chris. Is this what we're doing? 50. Is, drop is, 50. Is this really what we're doing? Hazard in. This is what we're Hazard, doing, yeah? Hazard, Drogba. <laughs> no, that's out, it, yeah. because no one's been kicked out their spot, so it goes. That's it. And we're going into the last 10 seconds. Deborah, where you at, man? Wow. 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 Deborah, Deborah didn't say where. Oh, Joe, I will hang top. Deborah's the only person I'll wait for because her came in earlier, right? So if Deborah comes in Deborah. and says, without Super Chat, I want to take any take anyone out because yeah. she's got 100 in the bag. Cool. Deborah, bail. But I don't know who she's going to go bail, for. Bail so for Drogba. It's ba- only Deborah ba- left now. It's bail only Deborah left. How's it made it, man? How's it? Deborah, I know she's going to take Wayne Rooney out. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, like, our picks are already locked in and we'll work them out. So, 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 so what's the, the three? So the three as it stands right now is, um, as we can see, let me zoom in a bit more now because we've, we've taken those people out. So as you, that's the team as it was voted for by the viewers, essentially. And we can't, there we go. Uh, very Chelsea heavy. So I mean, in fairness, in fairness, that team still wins the Prem. <laughs> that team is still very good. A lot of Chelsea players in there. I know, right? Drogba has a Rooney. That's actually that's that's disgraceful. The Asma Laquetta and Drogba was... shouts are just horrible. <laughs> the Drogba one hurts the most. Yeah, it literally yeah, came out yeah, nowhere. There's no chat about Drogba. Drogba. It's all agreed. Like... Henri. <gasps> I'm just bad. Wait, what we got? Hang on a minute. Wait. It's the same. So Deborah Luck put the hundred pounds in. Yeah. Deborah Luck came back and said, "Remove Hazard. No. Put in Mo Salah." Deborah, my G. Deborah, Deborah, Deborah. What I'll do to be fair, what I'll do to be fair, what I'll do to be fair is there's a minute. We'll put a minute on the clock in case any that has a fan want to change it. So a a minute on the clock. So what that will mean is, so that's a hundred on Mo Salah, but there's still eighty five on him. So if you want to take it, a hundred was the thing. There we go. Deborah put that in. Hazard drops out at the final hurdle. Wow. Mo Salah goes into the team. And I'm going to do it now, as you can see. Mo Salah in. Eden Hazard out. There we go. The countdown clock is going to start in a few moments. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> justice, justice has been restored. Thank you very Look much. Yeah. Cut, to the, <laughs> cut to the camera. Cut to the camera, j Ron. <laughs> Cut my, to have hope. My guy can't catch a break. <laughs> I was this close, man. He can catch a Big Mac, though. <laughs> <laughs> With his foot, he's laying down. Past him, he'll grab it. There we go. There's a minute. We're going to start that clock in so just a few moments. Where time. are the Arsenal fans, man? We we'll get this on. How much back. for Hazard to get back in? How much? Is he going to? Uh, sixteen or more. Sixteen pounds. Oh, Dexter's put him back oh, in. He says, wow. "Remove Sarah." Oh, but you can't remove oh. Salah. Salah's got £100 on him. Who else do you want out other than Salah? Salah's got £100, uh, 100 so on him there. Yeah. Yes. He's got to take out, take, take out Drogba. Take that Drogba, I beg. Yeah. Ah, he's got to take out his own man. Yeah, he's got a little, little yeah. friendly fire there, isn't no, no. Hazard, Hazard in. in. Yes. They're backing him. They're backing him no, there. That? 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 I don't Hazard know what... Hazard in for who? Yeah, we need... Like we keep saying, we really do need for you to... That's 40, hang on a minute, is that really, that's 43 pounds there okay. in on him. So that's 43 plus the 50 pounds. So we're looking at 90, I've got to work this out now. <laughs> that's 93 and 95. Um, 3, 8, 90 is 175 
uh, it is on there. 170. Yeah, he is clear as we go into this final 30 seconds, as it were. Um, that's been done. That's been done. What's the final fee at the moment? Who had the lowest amount on them? It was Wayne Rooney. So what I will do to be fair to the Super Chat is I'll take Wayne Rooney out and I will put Hazard, uh, leave yes. Mo Salah in, because that's to be fair. I don't want, I'm not going to disrespect the Super Chatters tonight, um, as it oh, were, but there we go. So what's, what's the three now? The, the, Hazard, the three now is Hazard, Salah, Drogba. Do you know what? Hazard and Salah, even Salah, Drogba would be amazing. Like, that, that is it's better amazing. than what it was, but Drogba should Drogba not be not, leading the line. Lace, it's not yeah, lacing, yeah, it's not it. boots, man. That's a, that's a myth. Oh, there we go. Well, and that's that's it. Time is up. Mo oh. Salah is in as well. That is the final. Yes. That Debra, is the final. I actually love you. You're, you're, you're a real one. There we go. One. As you you're can see one. it, people. And I just want to say a big thank you to all of the Football Terrace community. Yeah, it man. is all fun and games. And look, the thing is, I recognise the majority of the Super Chat as you're here on a lot of our match reaction shows, Super Chat, and getting your points in. And we appreciate the donations massively on the football terrace. We really, really do. Um, but there we go. Uh, what's it? Something, that's not your choice. Like, really, it's not about my choice. It's it's like the, the volume of money on the other two, you can't take anyone else out. Does that make sense? Unless someone... Yeah, I just can't do that. And that also, be, he didn't deserve uh, to be in... No, it's not that at all. <laughs> or stop sleeping on Azpilicueta. Uh, yeah, very good player. But to be... To be in Seven the, Chelsea players. So, so do Chelsea have the biggest contingents in this team? Yeah. Because yeah. he bought... You went literally just yeah. putting money at it. You you didn't have job in the conversation yeah, at no, all. They, the, the sugar daddy yeah, might have gone did, there, did a but throwing money yeah, at yeah, things. Yeah, that, that stuff still remains. <laughs> yeah. Still remains. <laughs> the terrorist strip club. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's just a little. It's just a little bit of fun on the terrace, you know. It really, really is. Look, everyone that has tuned in tonight, thank you to all of my members, your legends, to all of my super chatters. I love you. To all of our viewers, you are absolutely brilliant. To my panel, thank you very, very much for joining me tonight. J Ron on the controls over there. Big round of applause for him. To everyone here, make sure you smash the like buttons. Make sure you subscribe to the Football Terrace. Until next time. Take care. Goodbye. God bless.